<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, all we're coming to the end, not the end of our destination, we're coming to the next stop at Pilotsville. We're back to this, finally, after three years. Wow, has it Holy been that long? Holy crap, yeah. I thought we did Aquaman, like, last year. No, this was back, I think this was back at your old place, maybe? Oh, this yes, episode. Was. Oh, yeah, I, this episode. This, back, this goes back to, like, <laughs> when we first did our initial Wonder Woman review, I believe. Yeah, I think we did this a couple weeks before we did the remake Wonder Woman commentary. Yeah. Uh, but again, we did it at your place. Yeah, we did the two of them. We no, did it was this. like your parents' house, I think. We did this and Wonder Woman, and they both got fucked up. That's right. We re- we redid Wonder Woman. We were planning to redo this, but we just never got to it. Yeah, so and bad. I guess this still is somewhat apropos of... We're releasing this not on the eve of, but in, I guess, lieu of the Snyder Cut. <laughs> So there's a um, reason to like ride coattails or whatnot. So it's 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 relevant right now. I, I assume. <laughs> I mean, if you want to say that, really, it's just. I'm just grasping at straws here. Now that we're done Star Wars, we we're finally starting our DC retrospective up again. And pilots still. Sort of. Yeah, and I thought it'd be good to to start by finally redoing this commentary. I mean, it's one that we've because now we can progress forward with other ones that yeah. we want to do, like the Spider Man pilot as well, like that Japanese one. Oh, yeah, that'll be great. I and thought you were talking about the 70s one. Well, that's like, too. We're going to do that one as well. But yeah, anyway, we that's that. neither here nor there. Let's focus on this one. Now, this was, I think, NBC, correct? CBC. 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 Wait, CBC? CBC? Yeah. yeah, or CBS, sorry. Yeah, CBS. Yeah, CBS. Yeah, I'm just okay, going to warn you guys. We just did the Godzilla commentary. He's kind of buzzed. Yeah, I got pretty drunk on that one. Not only buzzed, but now he's going to get inebriated. Yeah, so I um, vaped a little bit of weed to just kind of... Which is kind of funny, because... <laughs> I'm real drunk. He was also like completely smashed the last time we did this as well. Hilariously enough. Yeah, I didn't even remember that, and maybe that's which why. makes sense <laughs> and whatnot. So you you watched yeah. this before as well, and you did not enjoy it. Oh uh, yeah, I watched it right after, um, or I started watching it before I watched Godzilla Final War Final Wars. Fuck. <laughs> But I got so bored I turned it off and then I came back and just tried to finish it. It oh. is interesting, I will say that. I Man, it's slow. <laughs> um, I don't know if this was released on CBS or if it was like Wonder Woman where it was never even aired. But no, this yeah. is I, no, this is a complete pilot. I know that for a fact because there was no um, post-production stuff that wasn't removed or production stuff either that wasn't removed. Like uh, those in, those wires on those those goons at the end. Yeah, I think I tried to look up the air date because I wanted to see if this was summer or spring. Yeah. And I couldn't find anything, so maybe it wasn't even released. Yeah, I don't know. If anybody knows like what other stuff you can find, if there's any other information on this, it would be helpful, yeah. I guess. All I know is it was 1997. 1997, so. <laughs> the year my sister was born. In a year of many things, which I'll go many, into. Many, many other about. things. Let's <laughs> put it that way. I wonder if this is... And again, yeah, this, this does take a lot of stuff from that era, I would say. But let's get started, guys. Oof. So, we... The only... Like legit place we found this on is Daily Motion. Yep. Which I think how we found Wonder Woman as well. Yep. That that's Vimeo? exactly right. Yep. Yep. It might be on the Vimeo. I have no idea. Well, no, because I typed in literally like Justice League of America pilot and on Google and just came or Bing and it came up on Daily Motion like instantly like that. So I was like, wow, no effort whatsoever. Yeah, and I'll just say apparently this has been up for five years, so I guess we're idiots because we kept being like, oh, how are we gonna find this? Like, how are we gonna watch? I it? mean, we found it before, <laughs> so. And somehow we just didn't find it. I don't know. I just, it is what it is. We're finally getting to it. I'm excited for this. Let's get started, guys. Yep. Go to Daily Motion. Get to timestamp zero. Everybody, please press play right now. <laughs> oh, it didn't work. Hang on, Mulligan. Yep. Oh, no. What's going on? Wait a minute. On? I think I have to pull it. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on a second. Oh, wait. It's through my phone. Never mind. It's through the it. phone. <laughs> That's right. Because for some stupid reason, your Daily Motion app on the uh, oh. Xbox. Uh, on the Xbox doesn't work, so it's we had to, always never worked. So we had to sync his Google Chrome to the Xbox, which I think is a good idea. I'll say that. That's yeah, it's at least work, the one. Good I thing. think it should work out. I don't fine. think PS4, as far as I'm aware, has that capability. Yeah. Everybody, please press play right now. There. Slight delay there. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I guess this doesn't have subtitles for you, so. No, even though it said subtitles at the corner, I don't know what that was. That was uh, I think that was Spanish for subtitles. I gotta turn mine down a little bit. I think I do as as well. Yep. It's funny how different it is with the uh, player versus that. Yeah, but. that's true. <laughs> Justice League. 
Of America. Of America. Here we are. Finally got to it. <laughs> Matthew Settle, I definitely know that guy. Um, Sorry. It's all good. Yeah, that's John either early Cassier, CGI, I don't definitely know. Definitely know that guy too. No, I think this is just filming the uh, time lapse over the, all these things. The yeah, links. fair enough. Guest starring <laughs> immediately. So yeah, this was certainly released uh, on on air or on excuse me uh, in syndication, I believe. It, it might have been. I've rest I've really in peace, man. Clue. Last time we watched this, you were not dead. I think, and also, yeah, he I also think, wasn't dead either. I think, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, he just died Wait. last year. That's here, isn't it? It is shot here. That's yes, shot absolutely. here. Yeah, I was about to ask where was the shot. It's like, yeah, take a guess, no doubt. idiot. <laughs> of course, you know, Mirological of in course. Institute. Anyway, don't forget, I'm really drunk. <laughs> so I was just like Geostorm or what? Have we finally like discovered to uh, control the weather? Uh, yes, that's it. Yeah, that's the, what the plot is. Yeah, I just watched this earlier today, but barely. Barely remember some stuff. Whoops! What a klutz. She is, that's, yeah. That's, that's rude. I swear, I just... I got so bored, I started looking up random facts about yeah. DC. So what's your first... So. <laughs> any? What's your first random fact or whatnot? Um, I'll, I'll get to them. I gotta... So who... Some actually, some of the cast, um, with her, what is she else... What also has she been in? Oh, she was in this weird comedy. What was it called? Something of the Beach. Nothing that I'd ever seen before or since. Yeah. Let me see. Kimberly something. Is that sort of sexist? I have no idea. Yeah, she deals with a lot of that in this episode. Well, it's the <laughs> typical, like, dits of a secretary or something like that, just like Catwoman from Batman Returns. Yeah, but I think she's supposed to be more, like, sweet, kind of. I mean, of, she like... is very sweet, I'll say that. No, nah, she's more annoying than sweet, I think, but... I don't know, sweet like ice, I have no idea. She's embarrassing herself. Kimberly OJ. OJ? Oh, here's, yeah, so here's another thing. Yeah, Barry Allen. He looks like Caleb from freaking Achievement Hunter. Oh, I don't know what that is. Yeah, no, you don't. <laughs> yeah, Son of the Beach. Yeah, that's like the only thing that she's. Done. I already know what that she is. Had a big role. Yep. Yeah, oh episodes. boy, he's getting a vict. It's eviction day, boys. Yeah, this landlord's a real fucking dick. Well, what do you expect? What else? How are you also you supposed to do? You know, freaking eviction day. I'm okay with him throwing out the clothes, but he this move here. Just bl destroys the Oh, that's a wow, rare. that costs a pretty penny. Just bring that down for him later. Okay, yeah. I don't. I can't tell if his this hair guy is, here. Yep, he plays a uh, dad in Gossip Girl, who stays throughout the show. And it's so strange to see him in this. Well, he's, he's pretty terrible, young though, and he's really young. Yeah, his voice sounds way different. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he's setting up. He's setting up. Oh, wow. He's going. He's going all in. Yeah, going all in. Yep. Wow. Yeah, and he's playing Guy Gardner, which does not that, yeah, fit at all. That's so freaking weird. <laughs> so doing doing the office before the office, really. Sort yeah, of. It's it's fucking weird. Like doing an aside. I don't know. I don't know if they're planning to do this for the whole show, but I hope they weren't because it's terrible. <laughs> so what? Yeah. What? What do you think? It's not aping, but what do you think? It's like based off of exactly like these asides with the with the characters uh, I really don't know I don't think I'm experienced enough with 90s television to really know that's fair <laughs> this ain't obviously like you know Superman and Lois or Lois and Superman which I've never seen an episode of and was also in its final season in 1997 that's funny yeah where they got canceled. new metro eh just that's kinda okay yeah I didn't realize Lois and Clark got cancelled without a proper end that's too bad really yeah I did not know that ended on a cliffhanger apparently when was when was Superboy? Oh, I don't, I don't know. I'll look that up. <laughs> Might do those two as pilots. I don't know. Oh hell yeah, of course. Oh jeez, what the f is this guy? Tinfoil hat guy or tinfoil yeah. dude? Terrorist guy. Is that the weather? Is that the weather wizard? <laughs> What's he doing here? Wow, Superboy was pretty old. 1988 to 1992. Tell that to a lot of kids nowadays, especially during <laughs> COVID, which I would not have made that, you know, reference last time. I didn't realize that it was in the 80s. I thought it was strictly 90s. Hmm. To my knowledge of Guy Gardner, which is literally nothing. It's the only Green Lantern that I've read. I don't even know if he is an opera singer. I don't think so. <laughs> okay, her hair is more red than his is supposed to be, and he is a redhead. 
Yeah, for my little bit of research, it looked like this was more kind of like just an al- amalgamation of Green Lanterns. I can see that because he kind of looks yeah. like he has the Hal Jordan look. I don't know if he's more in Hal the Jordan, Marines yeah. like and uh, John Stewart is. Is he a comic book artist like Kyle Kyle Rayner? <laughs> I have no idea. I don't think so. No, <laughs> maybe they would have got more into that if the, the series went on, but. Yeah, apparently it was like the three of them kind of just combined into to yeah, one. But that, okay, that's four. There she is, our buddy from Daredevil season two. Oh, she and oh, oh the yeah. The, I thought you meant the character. And that's, most recently, <laughs> okay, she's a, a banana big, banana person. Yeah. Okay, big phallic uh, object. Okay. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think I would ever want to do this. No, never. <laughs> no offense never. to these people. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> At least she's acting, a person acting this, so. Yeah, it's her audition. What is this, Fruit of the Loom? <laughs> I... Yeah, oh yeah, wow. Oh, lovely. How does that work? I don't know, I, I don't know. This is a terrible scene. Isn't that a grape? I have no <laughs> idea. No, it's a raisin, whatever. Ugh. Looks like a prune. Yeah, I think she said it was a prune, yep. Yeah, it is. How do you not know where I've been... What the f***? Yeah, and of course, this guy went on to a much more successful career. Yeah. Tons and tons of stuff, including numbers. For any fans of that show, which I used to be. Yeah, that's a cameo if I ever saw it. Uh, more than a cameo. Oh, yeah, I think that's true. Yeah, and this guy uh, is the voice of the Crypt Creeper. Crypt Keeper. Fuck. Really? <laughs> yep, that's him. No, I like, uh, I don't know, I like I like his either design or whatever you want to call it, but he, he looks pretty cool. The Crypt Keeper or the outfit that no, this guy's wearing? Oh, yeah, he does look great, yeah. But I could totally see him as, like, a scientist-type uh, superhero. Yeah, and it's funny, you can kind of hear the Crypt Keeper in him sometimes when he speaks. That's pretty funny. That guy is missing his skull, or half his skull. I like what this guy does here. What the f***? <laughs> Just immediately. Classes oh, missed. I see. Okay, he, good he job. Left. I see. Good job, brother. <laughs> Fair enough. That's what we all wanted. Yeah, even the '90s kids just were like, "Get me out of class." Have you ever been in a class where a student kind of takes over briefly? Oh, it's awkward as. Fuck. I mean, <laughs> this doesn't count. But yesterday, our teacher stepped out of the classroom, and I sort of was just leading the guys in oh, you know, no. what exercises we were supposed to do. So. <laughs> Oh, no, you were the one. <laughs> you didn't just miss the class immediately. No, this is like right at the beginning of class. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! It's bad, boys and girls. It's bad. Is this some sort of weatherman? They're going to run into the... What? Oh, jeez, yeah. They're going to run into freaking... Hey, look at this. X-Files show at some point. I have no it's idea. It's the Green Lantern. Well, they got his voice... They, they, they got his costume slightly right. <laughs> Why is it blue? That's teal. What are you talking about? Is that my colorblind again? It looks totally yep. light blue. <laughs> I wonder if Gary Chalk was in this. I don't remember, but anyway. Oh, we're doing some... Guys, look out, look out. Oh, no, oh, oh no. Oh, golly. Oh, oh, geez. Those guys are pancakes. That's what happens when you work construction. They are dead. Good thing we're in hard hats. But also, that yeah, that Green Lantern effect wasn't that bad. No, the effect was okay. I hated the costume, though. <laughs> I mean, you've seen the costume before, right? In this show, or... No, the, the actual, like, Guy Gardner costume, excuse me. Yeah, Guy Gardner doesn't look like that, though. Yeah. That looks more like that Kyle... Uh, no, Rainer. the cat's being Anything smart else? and actually underneath a... Yeah, what the... The cat? The cat's actually being smart. Yeah, like I said, the only Green, Ran- Green Lantern I've ever read is Guy Gardner solos. So... so. <laughs> yeah, so that costume's a little... No, this is... Interesting. I, I like this but that, effect. <laughs> that effect is interesting, I'll say that. For shrinking effect, I... Is that Ant-Man? Hey, I don't think anybody knew who Ant-Man was by this point, so... <laughs> if this is like the first shrinking character, I guess it works. Who came first, the Adam or Ant-Man? Uh, Ant-Man because he debuted in 1957 in a... Wow. wow. A, like a... And I, that's, that's kind of funny. Um, in a inspired uh, Incredible Shrinking Man uh, comic, or short, excuse me. I think I might have actually have a reprint of that. But yeah, it's not. It just has Henry Pym. Doesn't have Ant Man. For all intents and purposes, I don't think you can think it was supposed oh, to be. Not. That's probably not the one I have. Yeah, I don't but... think it wasn't even supposed to be like a. I, well, I have no idea. Oh, wow. I, forget if, I think it was Stanley who wrote that, but I don't know if he intended to bring him back in that. So 
Yeah, whichever one is like Ant Man's first appearance, I have that in a reprint. Yeah, okay. I hate the Flash outfit, by the way. Oh yeah, for I was like, where's freaking? Yeah, you've you've seen the '90s Flash series, right? I saw. Yeah, I've seen like three episodes in it. How does that costume look? Pretty good, actually. I think they bring it back for the Flash TV sh- 2014 TV oh, show. Wow. <laughs> Man, I can't believe I didn't realize it was filmed here first time. What the f***? I suck. Yeah, and from what I was reading, this Barry Allen is actually more based on Wally West. I've read, like, no uh, Wally West By this West point, all, so. Wally West <laughs> is in the Justice League. But I saw that he had, like, a call arc it? where he was, like, unemployed, and, like, that's what they're basing this off of. Apparently, I've got no clue. Okay. Again, I was just bored trying to look Sorry, but yeah, by this point, yeah, he's Justice League in... Grant Morrison's run, mm-hmm. the fashion just league. Yeah, excuse me. Yeah, I wrote I wrote down whoever was doing that run. Let's see. Look through my notes here. <laughs> yeah. So let's see what else do I know of this? Uh, suit's not bad here. For the Flash, yeah. oh, I don't. I'm not a it's fan. It's not at all. terrible. <laughs> well, that drunk knows their uh, secret identities now. And what is that? Oh, okay. boy. I think a few years, years later she goes on to uh, Law & Order SVU, so... Oh, does she? Yeah. Oh, weird. Yeah, it was... Uh, a lo- most of 1997, uh, Mark Wade and Brian Augustine were doing The Flash. Okay. But for the end of the year through to 1998 was uh, Mark Millar and Grant Morrison. Yeah, actually, yeah, no, Mark Wade. a lot of people like his Flash. Yeah, both runs apparently have really strong uh, reception from fans. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. I've read very, very little Flash, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a weird plot here. I just... Yeah. I don't know what to think of this. Yeah, I forgot about this. Yeah, it's like this teenager is no, like... Oh, she, thing for her. if in the comics I recall, is... Ugh. Brazilian? Yeah, Brazilian, yep, that's right. <laughs> yeah, she's Brazilian in the comics. Wow, I can't believe you know this. <laughs> uh, in the Just League Car- Unlimited cartoon, she was voiced by the same actor who played <laughs> Hawkgirl. That, that the, sounds about right, yes. The <laughs> Star Trek actor, I forget her name. Uh, let me take a quick look. But yes, I did look at that up earlier, yes. No, I think it was the <laughs> same... She, By the way, this guy looks like um, Alfred Marina, excuse me. Oh, oh Marina, yeah, he yeah. does, yep. Sort of does, but... Yeah, anyway, the, uh, the, the, the hot girl actor, she just literally, like, I think just threw a Hispanic accent on there. I don't know if she is Hispanic or not. The actress? Yeah. Not as far as I know, uh, no. Okay. Yeah, apparently this character, Fire, also appears in Powerless. Um, oh. If you know what that is. Interesting. But yes, most of this team is, I believe, based off of the Just League International. Yes, or is it Just League Detroit? Um, it's, it's I think, International. Okay, yeah, it was. Because I remember, because most of these guys are in Death of Superman, I believe. The comic itself. Yeah, did you say Justice League, Justice League Unlimited? Yes. Yeah, it's not the Star Trek actress, but she was in... She was the mom on uh, Wizards of Waverly Place, if you watch that. Oh, why did I get her wrong? I thought she was... Yeah. Her name's like Maria Canales? Okay, I thought she was... Yep. My yeah, bad, I thought, of, she, uh, I thought she was... Um, <laughs> I thought they have she the was same in initials, Trek. Marina Sirtis. That's I mean, right, okay. <laughs> somebody, yeah, somebody me- me- messed me up on that one. Mm-hmm. They look similar, but... Yeah, okay. Can he just, you know, be, go in a room, be, become roommates with you guys? I have no idea. What was this, Friends? Look at that Mustang on the... Oh, God, I hate this. It does feel like Friends, yeah. This looks like a Big Brother set from the early 2000s. <laughs> Except this is, you know, late 90s, so... Yep, which was basically the exact same time period. Yeah, you can't say, yeah, it's pretty much, yeah, <laughs> that's what it is. Yep, terrible, like, decade, 95 to 2005. All right, come on. Let the others eat, for pit's sakes. Yeah, this is a terrible scene again. <laughs> I mean, it explains why. It's the whole, like, you know, well, if he's so fast, he's probably got a fast metabolism. Yeah. That means he's going to have to eat more to get energy and whatnot. 
Yeah, I gotta say, Rufus from Gossip Girl there, Matt Settle, I think his yep. name is. Man, he's looking fly here. Yeah, he pretty, he's pretty fry. He look, fry. Yeah, everyone That's looks kind of blurry and bad in this copy, but knowing how he looks in Gossip Seriously, Girl, looks like I mean... Caleb. I don't understand why. Is that his dad? I always thought he was really hot in Gossip Girl. Now, I wonder Girl. if this... I wonder if this was filmed, like, this set was filmed here or down in L.A. Yeah, it's it's tough to say, I mean... Because so far, well, there has been a few outside shots. Yeah, we definitely get more of it. That's that's true. Look at those cups, straight from Ikea. <laughs> or somewhere, I don't know. Okay, you're the fastest man alive! Like, they had a great great arc for you in the comics about how you were so like apprehensive of you know surpassing Barry Allen after he died in Crisis on Infinite Earths like you like are you I, talking about Wally West yeah mm. I guess that's what they're trying to allude to here now I don't think this building exists here so dang I like her converse but I'm a fan <laughs> of converse anyway so yeah but, again I know nothing about Wally West at all um, it's not a character I've had yeah I'll go into that a little later if I remember but in this um with ice here, I believe she's Norwegian. The the, the character, yeah. yeah, the character. Now, I, obviously, this actor's not Norwegian, but like in the comics, she is Norwegian, and that's all I know. Man, how do you know this? <laughs> I don't remember, dude. It's either from Unlimited or I just read it somewhere. Yeah, let's see what her name was. Her name definitely sounded that way. It's yeah, it's Norse. Sorry, off slaughter. Let's get her right here. <laughs> Right there. Yeah, Tori. Alpha's daughter. Yeah. Yeah, that's um, a tough one. <laughs> the original Elsa, basically, as people might say. <laughs> These guys yeah. are all roommates for Pitt's sakes. Like. Yeah, I wrote her as bowl cut blonde lady. <laughs> I. <laughs> she I certainly has a bowl cut. First. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, there are certain characters that work better as side <laughs> characters or whatnot. But I gotta say, it is pretty brave of them to take you know a lot of these international characters and you know stick them on a TV show instead of you. Doing... Yeah, except make them just regular Americans. Yeah, that too. That's weird. <laughs> also, that's a weird phone. Hey, it was the '90s, you know. It is the '90s. What do you expect? Again, you Where's would not be phone? able to do something like this nowadays without having soups, baths, or one D in there. That's fair. That's fair. I gotta like that, so I gotta give that to this pilot. That like this is yeah, it was really, really fascinating. Really curious why they came up with this lineup. Like it's a weird gang of characters. <laughs> but I, you know, it's what you know, same with you know, in, in Annihilation, they used all those like you know, D rank list characters from space and yeah, look that, at where they all are now. But that wasn't a TV series. No, but it was a comic. I mean. I just mean, it seems like a strange thing, like, oh, come see all these characters that you have no clue about, except for the Flash. Which I assume <laughs> we were gonna, like, set up for later? I don't know. It just seems like a like it wouldn't pull an audience in, you know? Especially with this plot that they're That's doing true. this to. It's just but again, like... you gotta watch, you know, to find out more about these characters. And, a, and Batman the Animated Series um, had just had its sequel series start this year. It might have been a cool year to have a live-action Batman Yeah, the new series. adventures. Yep. 97, when's Batman and Robin? 97, and so is Steel. No, jeez, <laughs> I forgot that was, I thought it was earlier, actually. Nope, they both wow. came in 97. Oh, dude, speaking of that, <laughs> um, I think I saw, what was it? Oh, great, it's just like how, you know, Barry gets his powers. Holy crap. Sort of. Yeah, Barry Allen, excuse me. Um, not only West. Some blue light. Is this the Mr. Freeze? Look at that water Maybe. bottle. Maybe... <laughs> Wow, it had a sound effect for that small thing. Interesting. Yeah, and the Batman vs. the Predator comic that I read, Volume yep. 3, which also starred Mr. Freeze, was also this year, 1997. That's right. <laughs> yeah, Chuck Dixon. Go cold. Uh, where was I going with this? Where was I going with this? Oh, yeah. The other day, or today, I saw a commercial for a Papa John's promotion, a lot, promotional item, excuse me. Yep. I think it was Shaka Palooza or something like that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't even know. Hey, man, the guy's great at advertising. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's true. see. Where is this? I think this might be Stanley Park. Yes, it is Stanley Park. I know that fountain anywhere. I'm not too sure. I don't go there. Uh huh. Goes by it every. Whoa. Whoa! Is this the '90s? Is he roller skating? Yo, dude. <laughs> Whoa! Holy crap! He's Whoa. dead. Totally radical, man. <laughs> I'm gonna sink. 
Whoa, bro. Gotta help me out of here, man. Yeah, dude. Uh-oh. I'm a, one of those mutant guys or whatnot. What? Hey, I'm surviving. That? I'm good. Look, what is she wearing? What is that jacket? What is he wearing? Oh, my God. Him? Bow tie? Look how baggy this outfit is. That's true. I don't know. I like the baggy look to it. Oh, no. I think it works. Why are we even using this TV? Like, does it make sense? Oh, look at this. Oh, no. Yeah, I know. It's Honey, I Shrunk the Kids stuff, but, like, what do you expect? Worse. Much worse. Remember how I said, you know, back in our last commentary that it certainly progressed? That's true. So this is... And this is on the TV budget, you dudes. Come on, why not? Oh, isn't Brandon Routh playing the Adam on uh, Arrowverse now? Yes, he is. That's and cool. in the... Crisis on... Infinite Earths, I believe. Oh yeah, the mini that they did. They series. he he replayed uh, Superman. Oh really? Yes, oh, he did. Wow. As oh, in wow. the Superman from. That's right. The. <laughs> yeah, the Christopher Reeves era. Yeah, the Christopher Reeves era wow. slash uh, what's He's his back. name? Um, <laughs> Brandon Ralph. No, not Brandon Ralph. Who's the director of that? Oh, Richard Donner. Yes. No, not Richard Donner. The guy who did Superman Returns. Oh. Brian Singer. Singer. Brian Singer. Yes. Yeah. Just new Metro, lovely. Wonder if oh yeah, didn't is. Clark Kent or didn't the Smallville? Um, and yes, yeah, no, yeah, he he really showed up, but that was a different universe. Hey, my buddy. Apparently, didn't have any powers or whatnot. Gave up. I don't remember. Really? Oh. I have no idea. Oh yeah, we gotta watch Smallville. For, Whoa! Smallville for, uh, I don't know if that's a real moon or not, but like I've seen like, like really a shot. yellow moon like that before. Oh, yeah, but it looks so cool. <laughs> so oh, I don't know if you've ever that. done a. If we've compared Ice with Killer Frost or Mr. Freeze, I really don't know anything like about we, Ice. At like all. we have <laughs> with you know Poison Ivy, Botanical Man, and Swamp Thing. Yeah, but Fire anyway. and Ice. I didn't know at all before this pilot. That's I don't fair. know anything about them. I think they're friends, but there's obviously that you know yin and yang kind rivalry of dynamic. Mm. I just assumed, but. First off, that wasn't a river, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, the pond. Yeah. <laughs> if that. It's a, it's an artificial <laughs> pond, I believe. Yeah. Or an artificial canal. I watched the news. <laughs> that and I also have telepathy, because I know who this is. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder who might be talking to her right now. Is it Cogsworth? It's totally Cogsworth. <laughs> do, you, do you actually not remember? What? Do you actually not remember who's talking to her? No, I do. Yeah, I do. Oh, okay. Yeah, I said Cogsworth. Uh... He voiced Cogsworth. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, wow, I didn't And, know um... What was that character in Porco Rosso? I forget. Did he do a voice in that? He's been... He did a lot of voices on the Miyazaki stuff during the oh, Disney wow, era, so... Huh. And, of course, he also did a lot of stuff with Disney. He... Was freaking what's his name from? I don't remember the name, but he was that. He's the main antagonist in Pocahontas. Oh, is he? Yep. Radcliffe. Yeah. Yeah. And he also plays right. his sidekick as well, which is kind of funny. Yeah, I knew this actor was in Mash, but I didn't know anything else. I just no. He's really like he's wow. prominent huh. in the and prevalent in the animation uh, yeah, in the voice actor community. Hmm. Damn. Well. Okay. Oh. Oh God! I hate all these costumes. I hate the Captain Adam one. I I hate the Green Lantern one. Actually, yeah, no, that's the Probably that's okay, that's but... funny. You're right. They did they did um, take a lot because that's Kyle Rayner's mask. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Did I say Kyle Rayner? Yeah, Kyle Rayner. Yeah, Rayner. Yep. Yeah, this is. Oh, she oh that? my goodness. <laughs> yep, she's having some real problems controlling that power. It's very crypto feet freaky. <laughs> God damn. Right it. before it starts. Oh, that scream is so bad. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if that was dubbed or not. Yeah, it sounded dubbed. <laughs> wow, this really is the 90s. Oh, of course he works at FedEx. Sure. Hey, it's the 90s, man. <laughs> Do you see Green Hornet? More bull cuts. Look at that bull cut, <laughs> dude, yeah. <laughs> oh, I bet he's only got that earring in one ear. That looks like freaking Gene Rolo... Rol 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 yeah. Rol oh, yeah, that guy looks really familiar. Huh. Renault, excuse me. Yeah, Jean Renault, yeah. Jean bit. Renault, thank you. Apologies. Uh, I just, uh, I do not have anything on my mind right now. 
Yeah, Jean Reno in Godzilla, 1998. Yes, he is. <laughs> oh. God dang. We're just on point tonight, I yeah. think. Now, I wonder if they use... I don't think... Yeah, I don't think they're using a map of Vancouver. I, maybe. I, I didn't yeah, see that. Probably there, so. not. It's probably... This is probably supposed to be in Seattle. Or Florida. No, no it's New what Metro. It? New Metro, yeah. yeah. Maybe it's so I don't know Seattle. if it's the East Coast or West Coast. I have no idea. It might be the West Coast, for all I know. Don't they have a Seattle analog in D.C.? Uh, well, there's Starlight, Star City, yeah, I think but maybe it's in Star Grell City. series, he's in Seattle. Oh, and okay. Oh, on that cool. point, I've always thought that, because uh, Star City's always been like, you know, where is it placed and whatnot. <laughs> I, th- I always like to think it's in Washington State. Just like every other fictional city? Pretty much. Because Coastal Where's City, I <laughs> always believe, is in, uh, is basically like LA or yeah, that's in that, or in between it's San Fran and L- LA, basically. Yeah. That's how I, again, when I place all my stuff. The name pretty much says it. Pretty much. I don't know what the Oregon or the Portland equivalent would be. <laughs> it's Portland, maybe. Where do you think Gotham is? Uh, so that that's been a long-standing thing where, <laughs> in, I think in I think what was it, in BVS it was Metro Metropolis was New York and then <laughs> it was like Staten Island or something. No, uh, it's uh, New York is, or uh, Gotham is supposed to be New Jersey. <laughs> yeah, New, New Jersey or something <laughs> like that. In Young Justice, I think it's in Delaware. What? Or, no, it's in Connecticut. Sorry, it's in Co- Connecticut. My bad. Oh man. <laughs> it's um, in Chicago, like I always thought it was. Yeah, it's weird. Like, but in the New Fifty Two, Nightwing goes to Chicago, I believe. Hey, maybe I went there too. With, with All right, I don't know where this is. The aquarium, maybe? No. I don't spend a ton of time in Vancouver, honestly. Yeah, you don't go off the... No. But... I did when I was a teenager, but now I just stayed away. Uh, or maybe it's UBC. I could see it. It's Queen. Oh, jeez. It's, it's the Hulk. Sticks. Or it's freaking Jolly <laughs> Green Giant himself. Freaking... <laughs> or the... Sorry, the Botanical Green Giant. The Green uh, Bean. <laughs> swamp Thing himself. Oh, hey, yeah, we're... I was wondering if, if this guy was someone. Looks kind of familiar. Yeah, I wonder if he's a local or not. Again, I wonder if there's... Knowing now that this is set here, I wonder if there's any X-Files guys. Oh, probably. Let's see. Richmond somewhere. I'm betting you anything it's Richmond. It almost looks like uh, next to a casino. Oh, a dude, if the quality field. was better, I would oh. love to see what the uh, yeah. license plates are. But I don't actually know what our license plates looked like back in the 90s. Oh god, this kid's such a fucking creep. Oh jeez. It's the perpetrator. I'm just kidding. Pretends to bump into Wait a there. minute, where did he... Also, did he... Yeah, that didn't make any sense at all. <laughs> Spatially. It's our cover photo. What do you expect? I have a cover... Fo- I had a cover photo, excuse me. Hell yeah, I've got it. It was... Wait, what? No, oh yeah, no. you do. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I guess I do. Have my oh life. no, I do have that. Never mind, it was my name that's gone. Let's see what else this kid's been in. He's been in a ton of stuff. Yeah, he's been in a lot of stuff. Um, I think he was in Santa Claus 3. Was he in <laughs> freaking... Uh, in this is the same guy I'm thinking of. Is this the guy who was in A Beautiful Mind or I'm thinking of somebody else? That I'm not too sure. Yeah. He definitely played a big character in Numbers, but... Did you ever watch that? Numbers? No. What's that one about? It was like a crime series. Like, there's the picture of it. It had like the three there. Nice hair, actually, honestly. I can, yeah, yeah, I can see the curly. He now. played a, a good character in that. Well, we've put on a ton of weight. That I don't know if that's me to say. Oh, but. I thought he slimmed down. I I feel bad. Sorry. Yeah, it's I, guy, was, I guess. Yeah. Oh yeah, he was in Harold and Kumar. Yeah. Ten things I hate about what, you. Okay. Oh, yeah, ten things I hate about bad. you. Wow, this guy looks so young here. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's really jarring for you, isn't it? Yes, it is. Fair enough. He Kay. was in the Deuce, that HBO series. So, HBO. It's supposed to be a really good series. He is James certainly Franco. not like Guy Gardner. Guy Gardner is a hothead. Yeah, this no, it's not Guy Gardner at all. It isn't. I think they just like the name, maybe. Pretty much. Just took everything from each character and was like Green Lantern character and was like, here you go. <laughs> Basically just the name from him. Nothing uh, else really character wise. <laughs> as far as I remember. Oh, is this outside Science World? No, it's not. No, but this place definitely looks really familiar. Oh wait, I know where this is. No, I know where this is. This is uh, this is at um, Waterfront. Yeah, that yeah, that sounds. About yeah, right. no, yeah. this is near the convention center. Oh yeah, oh, totally. Crap. Yep, that I'm pretty sure that's where that is. Yep. 
Not really. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. Yeah, I went to like one little Comic Con at that convention center years, fan and years Expo, ago. I believe. Yeah, Fan Expo, that's yeah. right, yeah. I went to, I think the second one they ever did. I think the or, one I went to was like 2011, 2010, maybe? Yeah, you probably was like the first one there, I think. No, that's not one of our buildings, though. I don't recognize that building whatsoever. Yeah, it was really small, and I didn't really care. Like, there wasn't much going on, so I just left. No, that was, those were the days, probably. Those were yeah. the days when you should have gone. Yeah. I didn't have much money back then. So All I, I know is that, whoa, anything. it's raining golf balls. <laughs> hey, it's Weatherman, it's hail. When's Careful you don't get... Oh, too? she tripped oh, and fell, she's God. dead. She got, like, Where's their superhero to save her? Oh, no, she is... Oh, oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. Okay, those are interesting gloves. Again, it looks fine for the 90s effects You're just wise, helping but her and not anybody else. Yeah, he doesn't care about anyone else. He just wants to... She looks like a character from... Or an actor... One of the actors from Prince Perfect. At least there's one gentleman left. There's still <laughs> oh him. And there's him. <laughs> wow, Again, she's pulling off the Ozai... It looks uh, okay for 97. Foot freaking fire from... Before then, but it's, it's interesting. He kind of looks like... He, he, he sort of looks like Jason Marsden, almost. A little bit. Kind of. Is it not... Jason? Oh, wait, no. Is it? No, not Jason. Um, What's his uh, first name? Crap. <laughs> James Marsden? James that... Marsden, thank you. A... <laughs> I just saw him in San Santa Clara Groundhog a few weeks ago. A few months ago. Oh, few yeah, a few ago. months and weeks. <laughs> he was months. great in Westworld, season one. Really great in that. And funny enough... Iris Pupke. Yeah. What? Then I'm using her name, Olaf something. Tori Olaf something. <laughs> Probably. We're talking about Ice right now. So, whatever her first name was, we read it earlier. Tori. There you go. Or no, I don't know if it's Tori here. Yeah. I would assume it is Tori. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're using the same names, but... I like about that. I kind of like the idea of them communicating via TV somehow, even though like I don't know where the the receiver or where the receiver, uh, yeah, excuse me, where the mic's coming from. God, this is so nineties. Oh man, oh man. <laughs> okay, that's that's definitely filmed here somewhere. Let's look at the way they're dressed. Oh man, the hey, man, it's like I uh, was is nineties is, is that a page shaped by the she what do you expect? <laughs> I just didn't notice that last time. That is time. an interesting shirt, I'll say that for a fact. What this he's wearing. 97? Yeah. I don't mind it. Also, that art is 90, so no, I'm just kidding. Oh, he's got his pager stuck... Oh, no, wait, no, he doesn't. She's got her stuck to her belt there. Yeah. Well, that's where everybody had him, I get. I don't know. Did your parents have pagers? I never asked my parents that. My parents had cell phones from, like, 95 on, so... Frickin' bricks, man! Yeah, Holy crap. Bricks, yeah. I remember I used to play with their big brick one after they stopped using it. Jeez. You know, Could kill a person with years. that, dude. <laughs> I always pretended I was in the military with that thing. Because oh, it looks geez. like a military device. Dude, yeah. It, honestly, you could <laughs> play cops and robbers with that. Yep. Now it's all three of them together. Interesting. Also, she's a tall yeah, lady. I don't get this. I just... Also, yeah, look at that. Red, blue, and green. Ugh. Yeah, guy, what, what's with the, what's with the red? Which is weird, though, are? because guys should be wearing green, but whatever. Oh, he wasn't wearing red, no. Yeah, I was mixing up the colors in my head. Too high. I mean, just have Ray shrink and have Barry, you know, go fast. Guy flies, same with you. Is that green that guy's wearing, or is that yellow? He's wearing yellow. Yellow tie? Yes. Okay, good. I thought so, but on my color blind, I was like, it's probably green, but... Yeah, that's not a bad effect right now. No, it looks fine. A little cartoony, but it's okay. Wouldn't that guy notice that? I have no idea. Yeah, that was just stupid. Just take it without noticing. <laughs> wow, making... Of course not, you're a woman. Yeah, you're that's in. sexist or whatnot, but hey, that's... Not you. You look like a loser to me. But anyway, yeah, no, making, I, 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 certainly making advancements to, Ooh. what the f He is the Flash after all, no, no one else no noticed. noticed. But making that. progress, excuse me. She said girlfriend, so, wow, okay, that's nice. That's true, but she might have just been yeah, no. friend. Yes, girlfriend. 
Oh. Couldn't you just have, oh, like, you know, shrank oh. and done whatever? <laughs> oh, boy. The only thing that would give this away if there was a guy with a turban in here. Is this Jackie like, Kennedy? What is she wearing? <laughs> it's pretty nice, I'll say that, but... Also, what don't wear wearing? pearls. People in D.C. who wear pearls tend to die. Is that Martha? <laughs> I think she's the only character who wore pearls, but that'd be a terrible recurring, like, bad gag or something like, not gag, but that'd be a terrible recurring theme if everybody who wears pearls dies. I'm just so glad I wasn't dating in the 90s. Look at what she's wearing. This is a But is that her or is that the actor? It'd be interesting to see what the actor... I I just take this as an example of the style of the time. (laughs) Man, I love Miguel Ferrer's voice. Yes. He is really nice. Very silky and kind of... Um, not silky voice. Also, he is really like, do rocking that goatee hard. Yeah, one day we gotta watch. He's in this great Stephen King adaptation called Ooh. The Night Flyer. It's Night a cool Flyer. little vampire film about like flying from airport to airport. He looks hungry. It's really good in that. Yeah, plays a real asshole. <laughs> well, he's good at that. Yeah. Uh, so what other stuff has Barry been in? Or sorry, Wally West. What are the actor? The actor? Are, yeah. I, I didn't see much of anything. Okay. At all. I wonder if he's yeah. like a TV actor, part time actor. I have no idea. Yeah, I think just TV. But I'll I can take a quick look, yeah. see if he had any big roles. And anything else? The Crypt Keeper was in. Excuse me. Um, he did tons of animation outside of. Yeah, a good voice. He also did the animated Crypt Keeper. I think if you remember that. Let's see here. And also another fact is that Wally West also has red hair. Yep. In a I don't great get that. Cut of his own. <laughs> like I, I don't fully get why comic creators like did red hair because there's not a lot of guys who have red hair. It looks good on the page. It does, yeah. but again, they keep a lot of them keep you know having red hair, but it's like not many actors have red hair. Do you know much about the? Guy Gardner solo stuff, solo stuff. Was solo he like traveling with like a little? I know that in the New Fifty Two became a Red Lantern, or is that prior to that? I don't remember. Because I remember reading that stuff as a kid, but I I, I actually don't know don't much about his solo stuff. Okay. You yeah, mean like Elsa? Great. As a kid, I collected his comics, Manhunter from DC. Yep. And um, Namor, John Byrne's Man- Namor. Yeah. Sadly, I lost the Guy Gardner stuff and some of the manager stuff. I don't know what happened to them, but. So, is that going to happen later on? We're going to see that, or what? No, but I actually will say I liked that moment. I thought she delivered that scene well when I was watching this earlier. Again, she's supposed to be the audience who gets slash, like, you know, up and coming, new up and coming superhero. Yeah. Like, why not? Again, I don't mind this so far. Oh. It's much brighter than, again, BVS. And I made this argument before, <laughs> is that I enjoyed this because it's a little more lighthearted and whatnot. Oh, it's just so boring when you're watching it on your own. There's oh. some stuff they could improve on, but I kind of like the idea of what they're trying to do. It's also not as, like, emotionally, again, like I said, emotionally dark or heavy as, like, Arrow eventually became, or Flash, or all that CW <laughs> crap. Oh, it might still be good. I don't know. I've never I mean, Arrow just ended, it. so... Did it really? Yeah. Was this last season? It was this last season this year. And they finally had the idea of... Bright idea of shortening the episodes. Which was nice, but... Shorten? Oh, you mean the season? Or shortening the... the season, excuse me. Oh, okay. That was like 25-minute episodes, really? Nah, if only. <laughs> Perfect time, but anyway. Yeah, like I said, I watched... One oh, she said it! Oh, there we go. She did. I watched one single episode from Arrow Season 5, and it was a terrible yeah. episode. <laughs> I think the introduction of Black Canary. I think that's what it was about. You can't wait to watch that that pilot. I'm interested. I've I've heard great things about the start of that show, but we will see. What is this outfit she's wearing? Oh my god! You wear this to just a fancy party? What is it bad? Yeah, just, I'm not fashion oriented. Let's no form up to it. It makes her shoulders look really broad. No, well, wasn't that a '90s thing? Wasn't that like something a Golden Girls? Oh yeah, absolutely. The '90s. What are you talking about? Yeah, but again, that's why I hate this style of the '90s. Okay, whatever. He's wearing too. Was he? And Dick Tracy character. Yes, which came (laughs) out a few years earlier. Oh, he's dressed. Oh my god. I remember being a kid and all the adults dressing this way around me and just being like, "Ew, why? It's so god." I don't remember that. I don't think my yeah. I don't think my parents dressed up like this 
in the early 2000s. I just hated all the way my friends dressed. I tried to dress differently, and I, I'd probably look bad, too, but... It's a small, well, it's a small area, or small well, area, excuse me. They just did the credit card, don't leave it home without it joke. Yeah. And How did she end up here? Batman and Robin did it the same summer. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, she fucking hates that guy. Fair enough. I swear that tie's yellow. Uh, yeah, if you grew. Yeah, and if you lost all your hair and became a crypt keeper. <laughs> I mean... Maybe it doesn't want to be. I have no <laughs> idea. But I assume he probably did other live-action stuff. Limited, of course. Yeah, little bit roles here or there, but nothing main. Yeah. As far as I can tell. Mostly voice stuff. I wonder if any artists uh, watched this and then was like, you know what, I'm going to like take these actors and I'm going to use their faces <laughs> uh, as these characters for a run I'm going to do, or whatnot. Uh, again, be interesting. we don't even know if this was released, so... I'm pretty sure it was released. As far as I could tell, maybe not, but... Uh, again, it might just be like Aquaman. Also, it's fascinating that Aquaman. unless he doesn't have his, because he's supposed to have like white dwarf star matter with yeah, him that makes exactly. him shrink. Yeah. So I don't know whether he's. I mean, it's basically a belt. This is embarrassing. Come on, come on. What are we doing here? No, what would have been funny is if he did it, but then he got caught. The little uh, what's that called again? Like going under the line. I, I'm too high to remember. Uh, limbo. <laughs> Limbo, there yeah, you go. Limbo yeah, limbo like, under the oh, laser... No. Uh, we didn't need that music. joke. Yeah. Laser gate, excuse me. <laughs> laser gate. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. A little light-up pen on his ear. Oh, man. That's the, you know, the detective vision, detective mode, I don't know, AR stuff, I don't know. Red's... Okay, that's kind of funny. How come? It's just because... Oftentimes when there's a crisis, and literally they're called crisis events, there's a red sky. Which I've always liked, oh, if okay. I ever wrote for DC, every time there's a crisis of the Earth itself, the yep. sky turns red. I don't know how, but I, I always would like that idea, where like yeah. something apocalyptic happening to the Earth, the Earth reacts, and it's like, you know, the sky is red. That'd be kind of interesting. No, that's an awkward scene. I don't know if that's supposed to be some yeah okay yeah just some random guy. If it was that one sus, sus yeah excuse me one suspect uh, meteorologist then yeah. I don't understand why she was like oh are you here alone? Like why don't you make a big deal out of it? She's just a dick. What do you really expect? Weird. Sorry, that was weird. <laughs> More like a dick. Why? I mean you're here with someone else when you yeah I thought I thought that she was gonna be with him. I have no idea. He could just have been there for business. I mean yeah. Oh, some random go. stew. She was like hey. Pay you five bucks if I can embarrass you in front of my former my ex boyfriend. Here's this weirdo scientist. Everything's about me. Yeah, they could have made this little nerd guy a little more fun. Oh boy. Oh. Like Generation X with um, Matt. What's fewer? Oh, we were watching I'm, I'm that too, as um, well. At <laughs> some point. What's his name again? God damn it. <laughs> Matt Fuhrer, right? Yeah, uh, Miguel Fuhrer. Max Fuhrer, Fuhrer, excuse me. Or Fuhrer, excuse me. Fuhrer. Yeah, My yeah bad. him and Generation X is a pretty fun... He was in Generation X? Line. Yes, he is, yeah. He flew all the way back from L.A. back to up here. What yeah, the, the f***? for this. And he was just ripping off Jim Carrey the whole... <laughs> was he now? He really From the like mask that. or from what? It felt more like straight out of um, Batman Forever. Okay. From 95, the year before that, but... Yeah, I really feel like the Riddler. What Man, what an outfit. There? Ugh. With the shoes. Ugh. <laughs> Look at it. It's completely shapeless. The Jackie Kennedy collar. Ugh. <laughs> what a travesty. I can't comb through there. It's gonna... The earrings. Freaking, you know, arm's gonna blurt out. Yeah, there you go. Now I'm going to run away so you get in trouble. I have no idea. Yep. Uh-oh. Maybe she's supposed to look particularly frumpy because she's kind of a nerd girl. Yeah. Oops. Because fire here looks okay. 
that's kind of a fun effect for the atom, but it's not bad. Notice. It's kind of actually what's supposed to be his effect. Yeah, exactly. I don't right. know if you saw the effect in Unlimited. Um, I I think I remember him from that. Yeah. yeah, which is how it's supposed to be. I think I even own a comic with the atom, like one singular yeah. issue. Uh, okay. God, uh, they, they shouldn't have done these that's kind interview of sequences. I bet that's, like, the actual, like, his actual voice he's doing instead of, like, doing the chipmunk alteration. Oh, of course, yeah. Like, you know, I just, I find this so fascinating that they went <sighs> this direction with it. It's really strange, especially for 97. Like, where were they getting this from? It must have been something. I mean, I guess maybe reality show is starting to kick off more at this time. Maybe yeah. that's where they were getting it from. I forgot that she doesn't get caught, or they're fine with her. Get, I, that's great that she actually doesn't get caught. I like that. I can't remember when Big Brother started in England. It might have oh, been around boy. this yeah, time. No. I guess I can find out. All right, don't get caught, Flash. Two thousand, so still quite a while off. I'm yeah. not sure what reality shows probably going on, but hey, where's he heading? I like the little no, that, no, even what not, is that? not even like oh crap! What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no, 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 no Metro City. Um, or sorry, new no, no new Metro license plate, just generic license plate. <laughs> well, that's how they have it. I like his little car. Yeah, I don't know what car that is. Oh, uh, like you stand out like a sore wheels. thumb. Yep, absolutely. Like a tomato in a bush. Why did they choose that costume? <laughs> Why did they choose that? <laughs> he's what going is, inside the door. What's the with the pink eye thing he's got going on? Is that pink? Freeze! The yellow looks really bad with that. Where's the... Where's the Flash theme to go with this? He kind of looks like fucking... Bible Man a little bit. Oh yeah, and Nightman. The series also started the same year, 1997. And he also had like that big rubber piece for the eyes. Okay. I, I just don't know about that. Do you know Nightman? I do not know my Nightman. He has a Malibu comics, but Marvel had yeah, picked no, it up by this point. Not, 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 my knowledge of Malibu comics is non-existent. Mine's very little as well. <laughs> just kicks it. Although, uh, uh, this, this yeah. same year, Men in Black came out. That's also uh, yeah, Malibu comics picked up by Marvel. And that's how, yeah, that's how it's related to Marvel. Yep. I don't know. I found that Marvel. out when I did my big Marvel retrospective like two years ago. I knew it was sort of connected to Marvel, but I Me too, it was but Malibu. I never knew the connection until I did that, yep. Um... Yeah, I wonder how long the comic went on for. Uh, Men in Black? Yeah. It wasn't long. Marvel tried to reboot, reboot it a little bit, but it I was a that, quick yeah. failure. I think they reprinted everything, though. What oh. a twist! The Weather Wizard is actually him! Oh my god. What's He looks like he's playing with himself with that camera there. Wow, she's moving in those heels. <laughs> should should have kicked them off. Yep. It's Adrian, Adrian Barbeau and the Swamp Thing. <laughs> well, I'm thinking more of. No. Uh, Clark, no. Why well, I was supposed to say that? I don't know why. Um, Bryce Dallas Howard. And, oh no. I mean, she's wearing blue. Yeah, and like blue. Freaking dress world. Excuse me. Was she wearing like blue in that? My color blindness. You know. Yep. She's also wearing something similar to this. Funny enough. Yeah, not so. Good use your powers though. there. Not so Kennedy. Oh yeah, I guess that was that was a commercial break slash yeah. transaction. What is this transition? Music? Oh my god, why is he out of That is red? a long robe. I'll say that. It's a very colorful set. Yep. Too colorful. Whatever that means. <laughs> Agreed. Sounds bit not bad. Not pretty much. Hey, hey that's your buddy's the super line. <laughs> I'm gonna close this here. Yeah, I honestly think it was just because they couldn't use those characters. Because Superman was on TV at that point and Batman was in the movies, so 
That's fair. Also, wasn't she? Don't they? I thought they inter. inter yeah, excuse me. Interrogated her, especially about the ice. And doesn't the, you know, guy behind the TV? Doesn't he have telepathy? That can read her Adam? mind. The Adam. No, the guy behind the TV who we'll see. We haven't seen yet. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> I thought you meant when he was that little. Yeah, I know that's funny. Adam, my guy in the TV. But it's yeah. the the guy in the chair, uh, joke. But it's guy guy in the TV. The the uh, the Martian in the chair. We don't know it's a Martian, not yet at least. <laughs> I'm sure the audience knows. I'm sure everyone's seen this. this. Everyone's seen this. Yeah, I wonder how many times. people haven't seen this. That'd be interesting. This is a DC classic. Everyone watches it every year. <laughs> yep, I'm convinced. What is this haircut she's got? Oh my god. <laughs> what a victim of the 90s yeah, I, she is. How do you th so how do you think they would have uh, kept going with this show had it stayed? I don't know. I would really it be don't. Villain of the Week? And I guess it would only be 42 minutes instead of... You it know, feels what like... Because this, this is a pilot. It feels like they'd be going for like the light comedy romance show, maybe? Yeah. His name's maybe Weather Wizard, of the week. dudes. I really don't get a sense of what it would have been from this pilot. Hey, man, it's just freaking Degrassi, but instead of this, except with, <laughs> no, no, with no. a side interview, excuse me. God, her haircut's so bad. It's just terrible. Fair enough. Again, it's got no shape to it. It's just... It's the 90s for you. Hey, man, there's stuff in the 90s I enjoy. Even though if I've made my point clear that I'd rather live in the 70s, but still. Yeah, 95... Like, 85 to 94 is, like, one decade, and 95 to 2005 is just a different decade. Uh-huh, it absolutely is. And an ugly one. Very garish and just... Those early 90s was cool looking. They had some interesting style, but... Yeah, late 80s, early 90s is really interesting. Yep. Look at that. First time we see them, that. Who Who's <laughs> filming these inserts? Like, this, what is this? The fuck Can I get that on recording? <laughs> it would work. Isn't it already recording though? That's the thing. Like in universe, it's recording. It Whoa, would... that seems yeah. slightly maybe a little inappropriate. I don't know. Whoa. It would work better if this stuff was also documentary style. Like they just had a documentary crew following them. Like what are those inserts? Well, they're all doing an interview, obviously. But they're like doing it during their regular life. It's what was that? <laughs> And I wonder if it's like supposed to be at the end of the season or at the end of the episode. I have no idea. Like after, like in universe, yeah, it's supposed that's, to happen, that's like what I'm saying. That. When is this happening? Because yeah. they're wearing the same costume. I stay costumes. after, way after the uh, episode's over. But they're wearing the same outfits. They're wearing it during the scenes that they comment on. It makes it real odd. What do you mean? But they're all in the same. Wait, what? In that scene when it just showed the two of them? Yep. They were in the same clothes they were in the scene that just happened. Oh wait, so no, like they no, was it? Right was it? No, I thought it was he the same one from they started. Maybe not. I don't know. The Adam certainly was. I forget what his character's name is. Okay, Ray Palmer. That's it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh? We've known each other for how long? This is only supposed to happen in like episode twelve. I see that honestly. If it was episode twelve, yes, that would make sense. Don't know why he wasn't. He was in his bathrobe. This is the booze talking. Yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> Sorry about I'm talking to a drunk guy. What am I talking about? Her... Never mind. I'm in the right. No, she's no, going no, for no, a she... jog and she's got her fucking makeup. Why are you here. putting. <laughs> you don't put earrings on when you draw. Oh, okay, some people Where can. Where did she keep that? At least loose ones, excuse me. Loose hanging ones. Not like talking diamonds or anything like that. She's got That's no funny. pockets. Where's she holding that? Oh, she's got a little fanny pack. Ew. <laughs> That's also 90s. Yeah, my girlfriend loves fanny packs. I'm always like, like you wearing fanny packs on the side on like your hip. Yeah. No, I'm not a fanny pack guy. Skippy, What's eh? a Skippy doll? I mean, if it's like a Snoopy dog, that'd be cool. What happened? Flames. Jeez. Oh yeah, she yeah she probably lit it on fire. She was jealous. Oh boy, <laughs> fires in BC. That's oh, pretty is this common. Every summer. We have, like, three fires, by the way, right now. Is this 1997 or um, 2020? Dude, this is literally filmed, like, <laughs> somewhere out in the valley. Yeah. Didn't even need to see Jay. Oh, so you're the, you know? you're, the, you're the one to blame. <laughs> not the people with cigarettes. What the f***? 
<laughs> but anyway, no, yeah, there's a big fire in Washington uh, that oh, really? is causing all the haze to come up here. Oh, of course. Yeah. Put on a costume. God, I hate the Adams outfit so much in this. It's interesting. I just can't stand it. His, like, rubber hat that he's wearing. Ugh. I don't like Flash either, but the Adam's just worse. Nah, he's gone. Lovely. I don't like the Guy Gardner one either, but this one, oof. He really does look like Bible Man. One day we'll watch that. I own a couple episodes on DVD. Uh, but... fair enough. <laughs> oh, it's it. so bad. It's so bad. She's getting initiated. Yeah, there you go. Different freaking costume or outfit right there. God, her haircut's so bad. Oh my god, it's just Jeez. unbelievable. <laughs> I'm fine with this. Like, I don't mind this. Oh no, oh no. You and my girlfriend. Yes, her both. shirt looks similar, but I think it's just like a shirt with the. Uh... Yeah, I don't get the oh, 90s but... and early 2000s. How did I not I see that? That's Granville Street Bridge for yeah, pit sakes. Sure is, How yeah. did I not see that? That grass is definitely I am so idiotic. <laughs> what? <laughs> Actually, that might be a nice street. I have no idea. We watched it forever ago. Maybe you remember back then. Maybe I, I did. I don't know. I, when I listen to the, the commentary, I'll find out. Yeah, which I've never listened to. I listened to the first, like, five minutes and never... Knew it was, like, it. just unabashedly destroyed and unlistenable. Yeah, and again, I'll include that as an extra, but you, you can't hear it. It was recorded with my computer's mic, and it's That's not bad, CGI. Yeah, Yo, hey, we're underwater here. Oh, uh, yeah, there you go, man. Aquaman There's your underwater there. for you. We're going deep. Holy crap. Where's We're going to end up in Stargate? What is this? Uh, it's supposed to be like the freaking Fortress of Solitude. I don't no, know. No, that doesn't look like Sequest. <laughs> Sequest. <laughs> oh, golly. <laughs> it looks like an attachment that would fit with freaking the derelict spaceship, by the way. Not Stargate Atlantis? No, this, this ship. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> agreed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my oh, God. It looks light. so terrible. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is a weird part of this fucking episode. I, Whoa, I looks don't like get this. Amy Adams for some reason there. This almost feels like we're going to like Zordon's little. Uh, it looks like a Power Rangers <laughs> set. I'll say that. Yeah. What else are you gonna do, Miguel? What are you doing, Whoa. Here, brother? Miguel, what's there he is. Here? Oh my god. It's Martian Manhunter. He doesn't look like the guy from Smallville. Oh, leader so of the that. Justice League. Well, fair enough. Like, if there's anybody who should be, you know, leader of the Justice League, it's John himself. Yeah, I heard that. Like, images of this got released, and fans were like disgusted to see how like how we looked. It's not terrible. It's pretty bad. It could <laughs> be better, but I've seen worse. I've never seen a Martian Manhunter that looked like that. No. Where's the eyes? The eyes look wrong. Everything's wrong. I think I just like the fact that, you know, how, how good... Well, good, air quotes, yeah. Augen Stern is doing. He's doing a good job with the voice, but... And with the acting. Everything but... else isn't working. You've been chosen to join something that matters. <laughs> what was that? What was that voice he was doing for the character? He, she f accidentally froze the lake or artificial pond. This voice it just doesn't sound quite right for. Martian I like Man the idea of of Martian Manhunter being the one that got that brings all these guys together. I always feel like there's more of a not quite monotone, but not quite as emotional voice with uh, with with Martian Manhunter. Yeah. Now though, I think that is because it's because of Justice League. The writers realized, let's just make him Spock. And they made him Spock. That could be fair. And it could be the Not Smallville to... influence again. Yeah, he was in that, wasn't he? That's the one that I know the most. Yeah, he plays a big role in that from, like, season five I'm wondering five if on. Zack Snyder made a sequel to Justice League, would he bring Martian Manhunter in? I wish. I loved him from that like, I'd love to know if he has a somewhat spec script, or whatever you want to call it, like, idea script. Oh, yeah, what I was saying, I collected comments comics dc comics i should say when i was a kid it was manhunter not Martian manhunter <laughs> i should point out yeah, that was kind of funny maybe it's a jump cut but that's fair he's this a telepath he could like absorb are... information i don't know why are these inserts here they're so bad 
They're always just dumb humor. Ugh. Hey, man, it's supposed to, like, connect with the kids or the, the, the mid-adults or whatnot nowadays. just think of um, Assault on Precinct 13. Probably. Does Ice Cream Man have a debt that might come to pay in a bad way? <laughs> Do you remember that scene? I don't remember that, actually. There's the whole impetus of the, the story. Little girl goes for an ice cream cup and... Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought you were talking about in this. I was like, yeah, I remember no. that. Every Why time did you, I see wait, sorry. Man, oh, okay, I yeah. That. I had a TV. Wow, look at that quality T. Look, look, look at that quality camera. Extremely similar to that. You gotta pay for that, man. I didn't even realize it. Actually, I might have had that TV in the hospital now that I think about it. Okay. One of the whatever month span I was living in the hospital, I had a TV very similar to that with the VHS play right in. Uh huh. The fuck's with his arm? You see that? What, his shoulders or his arm? His, like, it's forearm. He's got, like, a Oh, weird whoa, we're actually. Arm. Yep. This is kind of a cool moment, a little bit. Yeah, we all do. We just get it immediately, okay. Well, I don't know about immediately. It's been like an hour and 20 minutes. <laughs> Around 10. It's the best time to, I guess, explain all the origin stories. Yep. How do you know it was White Dwarf, though? That's the question. Maybe you feel it. Realize over time. Oh. You woke up and were just like, what? Why does that happen to his wrist? <laughs> Another scream that just looks weird. Yeah, I think the fact that he's not like moving around. Yep. Shaking in horror. Just opening the mouth looks ADR like, ah, <laughs> Nothing. Like, come on, give me something at least. What is the cut on that shirt? Oh. It's not a V neck, it's a U neck. Yeah. Ugh. I think what his happened? suit would look better without that cheap middle piece. What the f happened? so bad. Oh boy. See his arm? Gauntlets. No, like the print on it. What is that? What, the blue word there? Oh, I see. Sorry, on his like, bicep. Yeah, what is that? What is this? Lion King score right now? Not Lion King. Oh god, that hair. I can't take her haircut. I'm not gonna stop. <laughs> Fair enough. This is kind of divisive. Like, I know, this is, this is not good. Oh, it's not the worst no. thing I've ever seen, ever. Oh my god, oh my god. I don't think this is as bad as... Air quotes, Batman and Robin. Oh, it's... It's worse. Wow, okay, fair Much enough, worse. dude. I don't agree with that. And I'm not even, like, saying... Again, I'm still in that camp that, you know, Joe Schumacher didn't do anything wrong. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> One day we'll do this. Wow. <laughs> Look at this! It it just everything about this. You know, it's it's the it's the old adage of like heroes can't tell their secret identities to anybody. Yeah, but the Justice League is kind of playing a fake rage right now. They all know that yeah. they're trying to in introduce her to the the gang. Yeah, this happens like way into the end of the season. I bet you anything. God, I hate this. Stop putting these little inserts. I, so I find weird. it. I find it charming. Wow! Wow! Definitely divisive. Yep. You know she's also with a bob cut. Yeah, but she's got a bowl cut where it like folds halfway down. You know, if they it's were weird. going for like a romance between these two, that'd be interesting. See the guy gardener bowl cut. It's just it's like shaped in the back. That's a better look. Conceal, don't feel, don't let it show. You can do it. You froze my water. <laughs> How could you, I'm man? so thirsty. <laughs> he was standing right there. He's probably coming right for a drink and screwed. How about some of yours? <laughs> He's looking man, right at it. Man, Frozone was able to do this <laughs> easily by like just freezing Kool-Aid on his countertop when he was three. Badass. Badass. Yeah, it's because it's Frozone. What do you expect? Yep. Yeah, How are you scene, cold right now? It's a terrible scene, by the way. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, she of all people should not be cold. I feel like the musical number from uh, Batman and Robin's gonna start. Do you remember that? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> oh. With your mind. It feels like he's gonna... Oh my god. Oh my yeah, god. if this is padding, I get it, but... 
Oh, it's I, so I sort of get it. I, I get why. Are they going to do this every episode? No, because... Oh. No, because I bet this is just, like, getting all the uh, obvious stuff out of the way. It'd be so bizarre to do this in the pilot and then drop it. What do you mean, like, her working on her powers? No, the uh, the, the inserts. With oh. The they wouldn't... They, they'd probably limit it to maybe, like, three or four, but that'd be oh, it. It's too many. And it would be the whole, like... She looks like Poison Ivy. Yes, yeah, that's it. I can agree with that. But I think what they would have done was they would have started with one that kind of discusses oh. the events of the episode and then the very end is, like, the moral of the story. Did you see his lantern logo on his... Not yet. I. Ooh, it's bad. I bet so. It's so bad. What a disappointment. <laughs> hey, look, it looks <laughs> like, just like our weather report. <laughs> it used to be. What are you... Oh, okay. It looks more like the one from Washington. Oh, so that... I don't know. It looked just like... The Q13... Q13 Fox, excuse me. I remember what it used to look like on TV. And it looked just wow, like you have it. a really See good it? memory. No, that's that's supposed to be Gardner's. Really? Yeah. Or uh, is it... I don't know about that. Or is it Kyle Rayner's? I don't even remember. That is an interesting... His, look at that. Overall, his costume looks more like Kyle Rayner, but I'll, I'll take a look at that. Pr- but I, I've seen that... Not from this, but I've seen that insignia before. Okay, I'll take a look at Guy Gardner's. Nope, Guy Gardner had the regular looking one. That's I've the most s- unusual one I've, I've seen of his there. Otherwise, it looked like that. Yeah... I uh, saw that art is bad. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. That's way early 2000s, but I look at yeah. Kyle Rayner. No, not even that, because I remember his is... I think his is the normal one, too. I mean, he has a different costume, because it has some white in it. White and black, excuse me. Yep. Yeah. That's why I'm a little more okay with him if he's based off Kyle Rayner, because it's not quite as green all the time. It... Again, I, I don't know. I've seen that from some, maybe it was just this, but I like. Yeah, I don't I think mind it was that. Just this, I I mind. <laughs> uh, it looks different, but I don't mind it. It's like it's it's got like a yin yang look to it. It doesn't look like any other Green Lantern insignia I've ever seen. It doesn't even look like a lantern. Again, I wonder. This, uh, I wonder what this you know relationship would have gone if it was a will they won't they? <laughs> will they won't they? Should this thirty year old woman date this teenage boy who's in high school? Is she even, like... Oh, that's fair. (laughs) She's at least, like, late 20s. Wow. Yeah, this is so stupid of her, too. Thank you. Oh, no, I have the same haircut. I look exactly the same, and I have the same voice, but... I'm not her. Oh, God, it looks so bad. (laughs) The outfit that that kid's wearing right now looks like the Corman Fantastic Four outfit. All he needs is a little four on his lapel. Oh, yeah, I can see it. At least and it did on the image there. And uh, get rid of the yeah, streaks the stripes. That, yeah, <laughs> the stripes. Yeah. This is, okay, I'll say this. This is kind of clever. Yeah, it's, it's not, but it's still like it's obviously her. But I wonder if they would have gone with the whole, what was that? Plotline from Power Rangers like where the two story. like bully guys want to find out who the Power Rangers are. Oh yeah, that's that's just a running arc with Bulk and Skull. Yeah, Bulk and yeah, Skull trying to figure it out. Thank you. I think it becomes more so when you get into like Zero things like that. Yeah, I wonder. I but I do wonder if they would have done that with this character. Maybe it's on fire. I definitely know it's you. No one else looks like you. Same hair, same everything, same just bod. Goes right in there. It's like, you're you read my mind. In, in pink. <laughs> Just like your Poison Ivy counterpart. <laughs> you know me too well. You guys can't stop being friends. He's fucking like 17 years old. Yeah, but I mean like friends. And he's in love with her. What's wrong with that? I'm friends with older people. He's I'm not friends with stop. younger people. He'll keep being like, I love you. Won't you date me one day? I, mean, I don't want anybody to freaking date me who's 17. Well, yeah, no, actually, no, yeah, no. <laughs> Listen, actually, I know, I respect your parents and whatnot, but that's... Me and my girlfriend yeah. actually discusses her today. I was like, do you think this is being appropriate? <laughs> and, and she was like, obviously, you idiot. I was like, yeah. I mean, hey, your parents, you know, got a 10-year gap, so... I don't think it's quite 10. I think it's 9. Oh, sorry. Okay, but, but 
<laughs> Still, a year off. 30 and 17, that's like 12 years. 30 Plus, and it's, it's different. It's different once Once you're, Okay, uh, once he passes oh 25, God. it works. See that computer? I had a computer very similar to that. <laughs> what are you... What's the point of that? It's just a computer from back then. And I had this old grandpa computer for years. Also, back to this... I wonder if this was, like, actually a whole pilot. I guess it was given, like, the... Oh, uh, no, yeah, this is the proper pilot. Because I think it was given a budget. Yep. What's it's that? not three episodes clung into one, like, frickin' Clone... Or CGI Wars. Oh, my God, yeah. Crap. CGI Wars pilot movie. <laughs> in theaters. <laughs> not really. <laughs> or pilot in humans. I think it. I, I think it came out, like, maybe a month before the series started, something like that. So I guess it kind of is a pilot, yeah. Well, uh, CG Wars? Yeah. No, it came out, I think it was a year later, did the... No. Movie, I think was, the TV I, show... I don't think it came out that long. Maybe it was September, I don't remember, but I know, like, well, maybe it was I September. I think it was only a couple months. Maybe it was. I did what I had to do. Look at this guy's a creep. Oh, shoot. Damn, this guy's a creep. Wow. There's two months difference. I should say. Okay, there you go. Frozen to death. This guy kind of does look like Zordon, face-wise. And I think that's probably what they were going <laughs> off of. Probably. Yeah, you know what? This probably was like a kids-aimed show. This doesn't have enough... No, I think it's preteen, older. maybe. Because they got know. the asides and whatnot. Yeah, maybe they were trying, but boy, oh boy. Boy, he's got the original Green Lantern. Um, well, yeah, 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 John Jones does have that cape, but yeah, he does have that original Alan Scott cape to him. The very operatic look. Yeah, you know, and I like that Alan Scott uh, I'm, costume. I'm pretty sure the episodes of Smallville that Jason requested have um, Martian Manhunter in it. But he's great in that show, so it'll be nice for you What's to see. The f oh boy. <laughs> I like how he had his hands up. He's like, ooh, I don't want to get too close. Well, fair enough. Okay. <laughs> I hope the writers realize that he can phase through matter. How could they have thought these costumes would work for a series? <laughs> Intangibility, come on! Martian Manor <laughs> can do that or whatnot. Burn the frickin' Maybe not do this. door down or whatnot. Why does it? Wait, uh, why doesn't Guy Gardner shrink create, down? Why doesn't Guy Gardner create like a battering ram? Yeah, why doesn't frickin' Wally, you know, vibrate the door or something like that? Why doesn't the atom slip through the cracks? I just said that already. <laughs> did you? Did you say I that? I did say that, yeah. <laughs> Excited to hear it through, to hear this again. <laughs> wow, advanced technology and and Marsh Manager does nothing. He stands aside. I'm in a tube. I can't do anything. It's a beach day. Deal with it for me, Rangers. <laughs> oh, that voice! Just freeze the so wave dumb. like Elsa did in Frozen Two. Look at their stand. Look at this. Oh my god. What is this? Kids in the hall sketch. Okay. <laughs> what? You just put a green aura around you and then you fly. <laughs> oh my god, this scene. Oh yeah, that. Hey, da, 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 hey, I'll Inspector buy it. Gadget. I'll buy it. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, definitely. She. That's pretty cool. Freeze yeah. the water? I don't know. I don't remember any of this. No, I now remember that. I was tuned out by this point. Yeah, that's fair. Looking up random facts about DC things. So what are the... Yeah, bring those up. So this... Uh, that's gotta be Mission or Abbotsford somewhere. Or no, maybe it's... Uh, maybe it's the mountain, one of the mountains somewhere. Yeah, so I already mentioned some of the DC stuff and the Malibu comic stuff, but um, this same year, X-Men, the animated series, was ending. 1997. Yep. It's too bad. Uh, Spider-Man the Animated Series was still on. Great series. Oh, great. Another tidal wave just like in frickin' Flash. Oh, my Again, God. Again, in one, in one episode, Flash has to stop a tidal wave. And guess where that was filmed? 
was it Vancouver? Whoa, that was a could have been a pre-shot. Was that me? How are you in? Okay, whatever. It's not really been hey, that. that poor kid. I'm the loser kid. Nobody likes me. No. His name is Weather Wizard. He's got a chainsaw. I guess that's kind of fun. Yep. I thought it was like his middle finger or something at first. Not that he probably wouldn't. He can't stop the wave. Oh, geez, somebody even in crutches. Shouldn't we got everybody kind of poor? This feels like this one of the scenes out of a Power Rangers Lost Galaxy when the guys are attacking the city. This looks like that same set. Yeah. Not quite, but... Do it. You can do it, Ice. Oh, no, Flash. How do all the kids know? <laughs> Was Bullcut Boy, like, calling them in? You and Bullcuts, dude, like... I had one as a little kid and it scarred me. That's fair. <laughs> That's fair. Never mind. <laughs> Can't you, like, knock him out or something like that? <laughs> what is this, the perfect storm? <laughs> I don't know. Look at this wave. Oh. Look at this. Oh, I saw that, like, you know, that blue aura that was coming yeah, out of her. Yeah, that was kind of cool. That wasn't bad. Yeah. She really is Frozone. Or Elsa, as I call her. Because <laughs> Nord, Nord, uh, Nord, excuse me, like, why not? No, I think she looks closer to Sam Jackson in animation form than uh, yeah. Elsa. <laughs> Again, his name uh, is Weather Wizard. Can't people get that right? Yeah, he's Weatherman. There's North Van. <laughs> hey guys. Oh wow, look how awkward they look. <laughs> what? Talk about an invasion of privacy by uh Mr. Ant Man here. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Wow, his shirt's so baggy. I don't mind that. Well, I still didn't invite you guys in. Seriously, you have to join the league or else. I like how they're all wearing their colors except for the Adam. Like she's not wearing green. It looked green when she was standing. Maybe, maybe not yeah. so much anymore. But <laughs> oh, sister friend. Oh man. Again, I think they. Had some relation stuff, I don't remember, but... Yeah, did you read... I thought you... You don't have that uh, bundle with of Death of Superman with the movie, right? No. Okay. No, I didn't buy that one. I should lend you that, because uh, they have a... I'd yeah, love to read it, yeah. Most of... Excuse me. We're going to do that uh, film soon, too. Yes, so we will. Might as well I, think I'll, I might reread Death of Superman just for that. Yeah, once you reread it, I'll quickly read it afterwards, and then we'll watch yeah, it. Yeah, I'll give you it if you want. Sure. We still gotta work out that schedule for more inside baseball. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, what'd you look at the time? Okay, so he was 17. Never mind. I just don't listen. Yeah, they, they mentioned he was a high school at the beginning. That's yeah. fair, yeah. Hey, look, all their problems were solved. What's gonna happen in the series? Lovely. That would still have problems yeah. somewhat, but... Well, they, they got stuff set up. I guess, yeah, it probably would be a problem by episode case, but... Is that a turtleneck she's wearing? In the jacket? Oh. What is this, Columbo? Have respect for the turtleneck, <laughs> man. No, I never liked the turtleneck. Except for in the 70s, it worked there. Lovely. Not in the 90s. <laughs> Tell him a little biased. Oh, yeah, did they get... Does he escape? I don't remember. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure he escapes. Yeah, I was tuned out by this point, but I think I remember. I think I remember this. that. Yeah, he had like weird alien tech or something there. Nah, that's interesting. No, what part yeah, is and of course this? they happen to just be right there. This almost looks like it's like UBC somewhere, but no, because uh, actually, I have no reason. It looks like it. 
Okay, why are you guys looking at a park? Like a little kitty was even wearing a oh, I see why. flag uh, bathing suit. Oh, that's kind of fun. And one of the officers had his American flag right on there. Just to remind <laughs> us, this is Vancouver. Yeah, was it a VPD? I have no <laughs> idea. Oh, by the way, so you know how... Yeah, seriously, does that not sound... No, that's... No, I know what it is. It's a Hans Zimmer score from, um, uh, from Prince of Egypt. That's what it was. Yeah. When the... When he lifts this... When he uses his staff or whatnot. Yeah, back at the Mighty Morphin... Uh, I pledge allegiance to the Justice League and whatnot. This cult of a... Of a... Of a, of a organization, <laughs> whatever you call it. saying it, but we don't hear it. Yeah. Like, what the f***? <laughs> Poison Ivy, you're looking odd. Where the f*** was I going with that? <laughs> oh, yeah, so anyway, funny fact about Power Rangers and whatnot, I'm bringing up uh, this in Vancouver. I can tie them both together. So, we in oh, Surrey really? don't have a police force. We only have uh, the RCMP in here. Yep. But our wonderful, wonderful, wonderful mayor, Doug McCallum, in all his infinite wisdom, <laughs> wants to have a have a police department or whatnot. Oh, yeah. I disagree with that mm-hmm. completely. Because that would cause a lot of pro- probably equivalent amount of problems in with Vancouver P- PD right now with the whole, you know, Black Lives Matter movement and whatnot. Hey, the RCMP has its own problems. It does. And but... I'll tell you, the biggest dicks that I've ever encountered were RCMP. They are, Vancouver and I'm not PD. trying to, like, make them a lesser of two evils. I will say I've interacted with much more RCMP. Okay, though. that's not a bad costume. For ice? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I like her hair better, but oh my gosh, what a silly costume. That's not bad. Um, but anyway, so what, the <laughs> point I'm the going end. with is, I probably messed up, sorry if I offended people, but like, the Offend thing them. I'm going with, with with like RCMP and whatnot is because they're, they're not great, but but anyway. Is there a great the, police force out there? The, funny, the funniest thing, or not funny, but what I'm going with is, if we did get a Surrey Police Department, yeah. it would be SPD. <laughs> and all I can think of. Oh, no, this is that... Ryan Reynolds film. No, 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 uh, Power Rangers. Okay, that was RP, yeah, Power Rangers, yeah. No, SPD, not RP. Yeah. Or, that's a different one, isn't I, it? I'm, again, the, yeah. playing the booze. And, and I the, uh, actually like that SPD theme. I don't know why. It's just, Me too. It, set, it's, yes. it really sets in, so it's like, wow. SPD is a cool one. If we get a, if we get a police department, that's going to be funny. I'm always really? going to chuckle at that. I didn't know you knew much of anything about Power Rangers, but... Sorry? I didn't know that you knew much about I watched Power Linkara's, um, what was it? I watched Linkara's first few retrospectives on that oh okay that's cool yeah just because I wanted to I, I don't know I, there's a project I was am working on that involved Power Rangers so that's why oh interesting yeah yeah so when I, I was uh... come to a fruition <laughs> but anyway sorry when I was a lonely little asthmatic kid in the hospital they had they're there, tons dude, of they're there. VHS's where you probably watched interest. looked outside and you saw the Just League International like you know at your doorstep <laughs> or whatnot or I remember one, one Halloween I was in the hospital and I was watching kids outside going That's around to the sad, houses dude. and the nurses came like, oh, here's some candy. And I was like, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. That's that's real funny. <laughs> Which hospital was it? Langley or Surrey? Oh, it was in Alberta. Oh, buddy. Yeah, Alberta. <laughs> that's rough, dude. That's rough, trapped, bud. Trapped there dying every season. I'm so sorry, <laughs> sir. Nobody should. And let me get, was it, was it Edmonton? <laughs> Yeah, I had to, I had to oh, be uh, shipped out to Edmonton, yeah, frequently. Even oh, we didn't boy. live we an hour outside of Edmonton. Yeah. I mean, it's again, cool. Calgary, a little better and whatnot. Yeah, from what I, yeah. But, uh, so, yeah, anyway, yeah, way off topic. Or, Canadian, Canadian geez. talk. Even my teacher is like, yeah, not Edmonton. Yep. And his dad's from there as well, and he's, there's, there's a lot of gang fights over there. Yeah, Edmonton's a trash heap. But anyway. No offense <laughs> to Edmonton or my cousins, but still. Uh and several people I know from there. But anyways... I guess both of these did tie into Vancouver somehow. So again, we, yeah, so no, that's funny. Canada. We're gonna... <laughs> that brings up something, but anyway. Yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I thought it was... I, I, I enjoyed it. It's 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 pretty cheesy and fun, but I, oh. it, it is what it is. I think, again, I I like the little lightheartedness to it and whatnot. It's, it's just very different. You don't see this ever, really. And it was... Uh, and it, again, it's even different from like the CW stuff that you know happens years later. It's definitely different than that. I mean, I haven't seen Lois and Clark. I don't know what kind of vibe they got going That's on. That's a but... little more not adult, but that, that does have some spunk to it as well. I, I wonder if they did. I really want to see that. I've never seen a single episode. If they were trying to copy some of that stuff, but then added these aside um, uh, recordings with these I'd characters, I highly doubt it. 
But, you know, I, I would have loved to see where this would have gone. It, it oh, seems no. interesting. If it lasted one season, fair enough. I wonder if they would have... They most likely would have filmed here, I could see, because... It would have been cool if it lasted one season just to see other versions of, like, heroes. And, yeah, if we screen. get more or whatnot, or if we start off, you know, five episodes in just with these core cast to yeah. get, get a sense of... Or to, 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 to what, what, reinforce them and then add more in afterwards. That's actually the thing I'm most curious about with Lois and Clark. Like, do they have, like, Bizarro in there? Or, like, Metallo? Uh, yeah, that's like? a good question. And it was filmed similar to this, if I recall. I think I've seen a few scenes of it. And it was filmed a very, like, you know, ground-level stuff. Mm -hmm. You're not always seeing the top, you know, you're not seeing him in the air or whatnot. So maybe they didn't go to all those big heroes or villains very often. I know they had Lex, because they kind of Of course, have yeah, to, have obviously. to. I don't, I don't know, actually. I, I wonder I if the relationship is. I wonder how it relates to Smallville. One day we'll watch the pilot to that, too. I mean, it's not Smallville by that point, because it's probably, again, affected by John Byrne's run of Superman. Oh, uh, and Lois and Clark, yeah. Yeah, because Smallville introduces the idea that Lex is from Smallville, correct? Um, I'm not sure if that introduces it. I, I feel think like it, it does, does, but I'm not 100% sure. I think Eric mentioned it in one of the Superman mm. talks they were doing, so... But yeah, I mean, that we back, you know, it's nice to be, this is really our beginning of our DC retrospective again. Yeah, it is. It's nice to revisit this and whatnot. Yep. <laughs> I, I thoroughly like enjoyed it. Clean this up. I know you didn't like it or whatnot, but it was, I, the commentary was more fun than watching it earlier, pre-watching it. Didn't enjoy that at all. Again, yeah, as you <laughs> said, it's better with people than Yes. Not. Very dull, I thought, but maybe... Uh, maybe I'm wrong. I don't Yo, know. Yo, <laughs> buds and guys, gals and those in between, enjoy yourselves. Take it easy. Don't travel for a while, obviously, or at least do staycations. Yep. I don't know. Okay, actually, I'm questioning all Americans. Do you guys, if you guys come up here or anywhere else or go down to Mexico, do you guys have to quarantine after 14 days or what? Because if we go down there and come back anywhere... We have to quarantine and come back here. Is our border open again to the states? B business only. Oh, okay, well, and you can fly, better. I think. No, I don't think so. I don't remember. I don't think so. And fair enough. <laughs> I, I, I fully don't remember anyway. No offense, but not not doing so great I, on the other side of the border. <laughs> to all you guys, to all our listeners over there, be safe. Yeah, be safe. Definitely. Any listeners who are in Europe as well, will be be safe. I don't know if there's there's, there's been a second wave. Or whatnot. Oh, uh, I don't know. It's coming. It's gonna. It's it'll it'll be here at some point. The second wave's picking up speed here, unfortunately. Yeah, those teenagers shouldn't have done that. Georgia just got hit bad because there was a summer camp where everybody apparently wasn't infect wasn't affected, and then all of a sudden a guy wasn't feeling too good, and the whole camp got infected, and it was like three hundred plus people or something like that. And did you hear about uh Herman Cain? Do you remember Her Herman Cain? Herman Cain. Herman <laughs> he Cain. ran for the president in two thousand twelve. That's yeah, not... this 999 um, <laughs> policy plan. 999 policy plan. No, I yeah, don't was, know he that. was like a game show host running for president. Wow. Kind of style, at least. Not okay. actually a game show host. Okay. I see. But, okay. Yeah, he went to a Trump rally with, and was like bragging, oh, we're not wearing masks here, no masks required. He That's just died happens. a couple days ago from coronavirus that he got it. How old? I guess <laughs> assume he's probably an old white man. He was, no, he was an old black man. Oh, I'm yeah. so Herman sorry. Cain, yeah. I felt bad because as much as, you know, he was a big idiot, of course, big moron, Jeez, okay. but he had a, he was kind of, kind of a fun vibe to him, but again, he was a stupid, like, huckster. Yeah, Republican. fair enough. <laughs> he was, okay, yeah, scumbag, yeah. sort of. Yeah, going, telling people, actively encouraging people not to wear masks. That, and nah, man, come on, COVID. don't do that. That's, that's wrong. That's, that's... Yep, I mean, look, man. look what happened, man. You go out. Well, I mean, we're way off topic here. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Just enjoy yourself. And that's what keep I mean by safe, I friends. like this you know, because it was lighthearted. It's it, almost as apolitical as well, in a way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess Not so. to say that I don't like being apolitical, but... I, I prefer it, you yeah. know. It turns people off being political. Yeah, it certainly does <laughs> and whatnot. And fair yeah. enough. Everything's too heated these days. Yeah, I'm going to regret Everybody seeing that, down. bringing up that RCMP thing of like, oh, it's the lesser of two evils compared to like a smaller police department, but it's like... Eh. Should I regret the Herman Cain talk? R.I.P.? Yeah, <laughs> Enjoy yourselves, buds. It's <laughs> been a good one. And you'll have more from us in Pilotsville, Pilotsville, excuse me, and the DC animated a -thon. Hell yeah.
And Jason, we're going to get those ones done soon. So. Coming very soon. Yep, I'm going to pick up those Blu-rays very quickly, and we'll get right to them. Peace out. Take off, a eh, boys and gals. Let's let's yeah, and live long and between. prosper. Let's go. Whatsoever, no, 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 no source, not even source, but nothing left of the old commentary. Do you? I do, and I plan to include it at the there end. There we of this. go. Yep, I thought so. <laughs> but it is unlistenable. It is unlistenable. So, so I still plan put that in there anyway. I plan to mention, you know, feel feel free Don't to listen to it, it for as long as you have. But this is like 2017 us, I think. Yep, that's right. Yeah. Just as an additional note, I couldn't actually include the complete commentary from 2017 it was a little bit too fucked up and you could hear the show in the background way too much so i just i cut in some clips here um but that's the best i can offer for that very destroyed commentary but yeah hope you don't bother listening to it because it's pretty terrible but if you do this is probably the best quality i can get for it all right well y'all are here in this how's it going everybody happy uh happy new year 2017 things have changed since last week we're here. I mean, it really doesn't matter because if you're if you're listening to this, you're getting them like back to back. You got episode one, and now this is episode two. But it was in August that we watched The Force Awakens, and now it's January seventh, two thousand seventeen. Yeah, it was no. August, and it was actually the start of August. And I remember because I said I didn't know about Masuka and Valley of the Wind. I have seen every Miyazaki movie since then. Um, and bought the Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind manga uh, comic, which was awesome. That was super the time. <laughs> okay, so tonight's movie, well, it's not really a movie. TV. Yes, well, no, actually, it was an unsuccessful pilot. People know what this is. I just wanted to watch this with this dude, my dude here. Um, and, yeah, it's, it's Justice League of America, which came out in 1997 uh, on CBS Television Network. Was yeah, it a pilot. It was a pilot. It said an unsuccessful pilot. We're watching it on Daily Motion, so if you, you know, want to watch it with us, not on our uh, Daily Motion Church's DVDs. No, I don't think this is on a race, <laughs> dude. Like you can you can rip this and you can buy this. I mean, that way you, you can get this now from instead of the Pirates Bay. Well, you, know, you, know, you want to get it on the Pirates Bay with it. Um, all right, we're gonna Daily Motion. Yeah. Ready? All right. Start this thing up, bro. Three, two, one. So, everyone, please press play right now. Oh, you tell us what happened. Uh, I know. So, you're not. You're <laughs> gonna. What's that last name? Uh, Ice that's. Mm-hmm. Well, Ice is Norwegian. Except this one is obviously not Norwegian. We're about to, uh. That was really. I didn't say who that was. Who's that? Uh. She's in a room. This is ice. Oh, did you talk about yeah. it? Oh, uh, ice is, uh, and I ice. know. Ice. She's talking about it. Okay, so there's, so this, this series is based off of, well, the TV show was based off of the, the failed TV show was based off of the Justice League International Tournament. Come on, Arliss, I'll talk to you. Which was, yeah, you know nothing about. I know some of it from the car. Um, it was basically like, Guy Gardner was in it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Blue Beetle, Booster Gold, Fire Ice. I think Calum Ventura. Yeah, she was. 
And Bob, can you get me the vertical once you're reading? Yeah, I think that was, there might be others. Yeah. <coughs> 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 Did you see some clowns been all the way too ridiculous? No, I have no idea. Yeah, I'm like, 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 i yeah, he does. This guy's for I'll forget that. Whatever. Yeah, I, I don't really care about that guy not I mean, it's not like they're going to put his haircut on. You know, I'm about to see you, Oh, yeah. it's so bizarre. So I'm going to around here. I've seen a clip, so for anyone who wants to go watch, uh, sit, um, sit, um, I think that's Kara right. and Nash's review of this thing. Yeah, yeah. You will absolutely yeah. laugh your pants off. No, I'm not saying I watched it today. It was funny. That's what made me want to watch this now. Yeah. So you're not you're not really familiar with, you know, the Justice League or um, I watched the show when I was a kid. Well, this is a guy, I think. Wait, what's going on here? Like very awesome voice. So the <laughs> sometimes I like to uh, well, that's a whole other video. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, it's Spider Man 3. What is going on here with the singing? Oh, wait, or is that the Flash? No, that's Gardner. Is it? Yeah. Oh, it's... oh my ears. <laughs> okay, who names their kid guy? No offense. Right? No offense to anybody. Named yeah, guy. no, if anyone out there is actually named. Well, Guy Ritchie. Irish, Hello, does he have a first name? I think yeah, I should like first name. First name? Okay, well. Oh, 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 Titanic. Oh, that was offensive. Yeah, whoa. Yeah, we do. Get these fabulous bats. I need the cost of characters in our lives. Oh, a Brazilian uh, hero that's a banana. Oh my god. That's a banana. We just get kind of out here. Do you know who that is? Who this woman is? is? No, that's no. Yeah, it's a guy. No, no, no. Guy. It's, it's a guy. Not Guy Gardner, sorry. Pineapple. Is that an apple? Or a tomato? I don't think I know fire guys. Is this like fruit of the room? So uh fire's gimmick is that she kinda engulfs herself, not like human torch torches. Uh like in green flames. Uh, parts of her body like go into green flames. Ice is just you know, for the guy or the Not ice. It's a girl. Oh, okay. I'll watch his service. Alright. This guy recently saw it. Well, we had here. Yeah. Okay, why did the video come out? Because this video is kind of crap. But now it's like freezing up on it. It's gross. That's just pretty I'll just mark this tape and skip this part. Unless we call this a sure. Okay, there we go. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's pause the pause the um what's it called? Not the not the recording. Yeah, you can cut this sunrise yeah. stuff out. It will be edited, obviously. Oh look, the cats are fighting with the uh, I used to watch lots of talk if you want to get emotional, it always freeze on me. They're fighting the uh <laughs> they're fighting with that week. I'm gonna watch out for Cookie with that stuff. Yes, I think it was Cookie, or Joe, like, was getting me from, like, in the couch. Bad. Cushion, excuse me. Bad cook. Holy smokes. Alright, well, so far so good. Nothing too bad. Alright, I guess we can go ahead, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, there she is. More lights. Funny thing. Wow, 
Well, he is. Well, he's not rescuing cats from trees. That's for sure. Oh, he's rescuing for the fortune. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> God! No! No! no. <laughs> I gotta say the the flash from the the flash from the yeah the ninety series is a million times better. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, his suit looks much better than this. What was that series? That was ninety. Was it ninety? Yeah. John West is a million times better. Oh, it does. Of course it does. That suit looked ridiculous. Oh, it's much brighter. This is much brighter than that. Oh, yeah, whatever. Oh, look at him. Look at him. What's with that bat? Hey, look, hey, look, it's not weather. What is that screen? <laughs> <laughs> it's not weather. It's not weather. It's not weather. Okay, is this Vancouver? Because I just saw it. I, I, I saw mountains. I don't know. I think I, I think every city looks like Vancouver, but I think it's it. What is that? This weird thing here. What do you mean? Like the Korean TV series. It it said that though. They're taking like documentary style. What do we say next? All right. Storm's over. We're done. My dude is uh, chasing his cats. I don't know. I think that one is surreal. Nobody can manipulate the weather. It's impossible. No, you're too rowdy. Oh my gosh. You've you never know. heard of Weather Wizard, have you? And shame on you, Barry Allen. That's one of your foes. Or is... Yeah, no, he's one of your foes. How long do you think somebody can listen to that? Because he had a. Uh, Wait, I was anything he had like a magic wand or something like that. Maybe. Okay, do you want to know something funny about her? What? Recognize her face. Do you, re do you know? Do you recognize her? That's a little bit too uh, for you. I know. You know who that is? Who? That's the DA from Daredevil season two. Hello. Oh my god, is it really? Yeah, it is. I noticed that today. I was like, no way. Hello. That's her. She's looking well, younger. Twenty years younger. Well, so this was twenty years ago from Big <laughs> Six, literally. <laughs> This is what I so, this is what I question. Um, if some of these people like actually read comic books and they're fans of them, or if they just you know are doing this because it's job. That's the play. Um, I imagine he probably did. He looks like a nerd. He plays nerds. Because you look like a nerd doesn't mean you have to play nerds. That's what he was doing. Right now. They, Character. Like this, this actor, yeah. this, this female actor, yeah. she, she could be a fan of it. I don't know. It's, it's funny that she's in Daredevil season two, and then she's in this. But she's she acts fine. She does look very good. Dinner is served. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, you want to know something funny? Apparently, wait, how do they know each other? They're the Justice League. Are they? So they're already. They're already. That's the cool thing about this. Remember how I told you this was a, basically like the X Men '90s cartoon? Okay. Uh, because I, I don't feel like that was well established. No, it wasn't. I should have told you that beforehand. But yeah, that's kind of a cool thing so far. This guy, the doctor, Ray Palmer, Doctor Ray Palmer, the action. Oh, that's in there. Yeah, okay. not him. That's Guy Gardner. No, I don't. Yeah. I don't think they established that at all. No, they did. You still, you still see it. Like, oh, you didn't okay. see him in, like, that chair. Okay, okay. okay. I didn't see the scene. In the documentary time, I saw that. I like his, uh... I got my... I little, uh... Find my mirror in that ring. Yeah, I, yeah, well, well, that's nice. What do you expect? Who you guys are doing? trying, okay? Little, little, little in the one year that I was yeah. easy for me as a dose for you Never it was that I cared for. Why did right you lose him with brains? I could do whatever you want. Alright, so apparently... This guy was, yeah. like... Yeah, it's, like, kind of a schlub. And he's still, like, his ass yeah. <laughs> the professor would explain. Uh, apparently, the actor who plays the Atom was like the the voice of the crypt from the crypt. He usually from the crypt. He looks like it. He looks like the crypt he goes in. I really appreciate guys putting me up. Don't worry, I'll take the lead. The second I can afford my own apartment. I oh no! Just Woe is me, Barry Allen. You have super. You have the power of super speed. You, oh, could be, so you, you could be a freaking pizza delivery dude. Should be. Yeah. Do a good job at it. This is a blind I can show you that I Yeah. Well, I've seen, basically, because again, I've seen Sorry. the. Do you know what that guy is in? Maybe. Oh, crap. Well, I, just, I don't. I haven't said anything. Yeah, watch the video. I think it's pretty obvious. Nash and Nash. Yeah. 
Hey, this, is, this is what they were, but well, this is absurd. Hey, I'll just say this: it's brighter than Batman v Superman. Maybe. It's in a totally different category. By the way, hey, you think about like, the Marvel stuff. You want to know something funny? Uh, Fire, the Atom, Green Lantern, and the Flash. Speaking of the Guess who's missing? A Cheryl? Fine. No, but like, guess who's missing in this crazy? I'm not too sure, I don't even know, because you're saying they're from the International Festival, right? Just as the International. There you go. I don't know, I don't know but namely the Cheryl? Blues Boy Scout. Blues Brothers? And, no, Boy Scouts, the Big Boy Scout. Oh, yeah. well, the Big Boy Scout and the, the Zen Blue, right? Oh, and the, and the Dark Knight. Yeah, but um, are, are they part of the International Uh, it depends. <laughs> See, yeah, I have no idea. In the 90s, maybe, but in the 2000s, one's not. Oh. Oh, tell me, you well, did not go yeah, I guess this sorry, is funny. Uh, I'm saying that Batman is in red on his way, I like his phone. It kind of I like his phone. What phone? The phone that you're just using, like the numbers at the very bottom. I don't see it. Yeah, it looks like a dildo in the ups, and then you pick it up, the numbers at the very bottom. And you call me, and you say I have phone on each. Oh no, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. She's a ditz. Whoa, how do you say that? She's a, oh, she's a classic. You're saying like she's blocked. I mean, she kind of like drops some stuff. Then again, I'm a flux and this as well, so you know. From one flux to another. Yeah, all of you go watch um, Assassin's Creed first, please. Just actually, we just came back from watching it. Really good movie. Go watch it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Too. Oh my goodness, it's Mr. Freeze's uh, formula. Is he gonna sing a song? Yeah, yeah. He's my spot. I don't know if your name is Ice, so. That's <laughs> true. Is he gonna get off Freeze and So that? you just got like a bunch of dry ice or stuff. So she's kind of like Elsa with like. How, well, okay, no, but in the. With Elsa, like, she knew she had her powers. Yeah, they're kind of like, okay, we get it, we get the Yeah, right, well, we got it, like, right. the first time. Like, so I like how she's rocking those Converse. I'm pretty sure it's a for uh, someone who's dressed like that. Right? Kind of cool. What the f? That was awesome! Oh, I know. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Even if I would just swim to shore. Wow, it really, it really is like frozen. So from like I'm drowning to there. So what do you think you're saying? As long as a bow tie. Right? Oh, are you kidding me? He's fixing a television set. Right, you gotta fix it too. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's <laughs> it's okay. If I remember correctly, I think. Anything we can do? Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, viewers. I'm pretty sure the atom came. No, 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 no. no. Ant Man did come first because of the fifties. He got short circuited. Um. Need some help? Ant Man came in like October 1961. I'm pretty sure Ant Man watched this. He came in like 58, if I recall. Ant Man appeared. He's using chewing gum. And the video froze. Now that's quality. No, he used like this this dude, like, this, what a great, like, electrician. What a great. <laughs> What a great mechanic. He repaired that for the win by using oh, gum. What a what a guy would be. Boing looks like a cat and appeared in the film before the session fails in the chaos Alright, 1962. Well, no, but Hank Pym came first in 1958, I think. Just go to. Yeah. His first appearance was in Astonishing Tales, Four Tales from Astonish, yeah. issue 27, 1962. That pain 6 is your raw. Not 162.
Wait, so I was right. The Which action was like the key person. Yo, and she got chloroform for some reason. Aha, uh-huh, see, I'm half one. Did Bill Cosby do that for you? I bet you, I bet you $20 that would cut. Oh, just Go be a sweetie. Drink. Is that him? Who are you? What do you want? Taking off for a pudding pop? How did you freeze the river? Also, I'm going to speak to Troy right now. Also, I'm going to Yeah, no, he was in Robocop. What? That guy? Bro, Miguel Ferrer. Yes. What's his name? Yes, he was! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you joking me? Also, he was the vice president of Iron Man 3. That's what it is. What's he really? I don't remember that at all. All of those are from the 90s that I fought. And that was an NCIS. NCIS.
Still, it's really bizarre. It's, it's a different thing. Yeah, it's different. It doesn't make it good. It kind of makes it bad. Okay, this is not awful. <laughs> this is not awful. Okay? Batman v Superman is awful. Yeah, that's this is at least got lots of color, even if Guy Gardner's t-shirt or his uniform is just teal. I don't even know what the plot is right now. I'm not sure I do. Uh, I don't know, I kind of like this. After Batman v Superman, I kind of like how it's lighthearted. A bit more lighthearted. Kind of, I don't know. Uh, all right, well, that's smart. Oh my! What are you, what are you doing? Why? What? what are you doing? Stop <laughs> doing! I don't know what you're doing. You threw the limbo. You're liking this? It's like Oh my god! You just did the limbo underneath some some laser a laser grid. That was on. What was he even projecting? It was in the physical plane. What are we going to do with that? I don't know. Just have to Use your imagination. Look, if you take critical thinking, maybe there's a man there. You're going to turn on I think it's... Oh, you want to say it's a scam or something like that. Oh, hey, look. This is how we hacked in 1997. Look at that monitor. Red Sky. Red, Red Sky. Where do I know that from? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Red Sky. Oh, that's kind of funny. That's, that was in the Flash. Like, 2014, you should have mentioned something. That was a mentioning of, uh, I think, Rex is Black Sky. Black Sky, Black Sky that's from Season yeah. 2 of Daredevil. Guys, I think they mentioned Season 2. Oh, yeah, they did, because that had a big whole lot of Season 2 as well. I gotta say, I feel like this was. Well, okay, air quotes, respect. And with these, uh, between the teammates. I like that. I'm sorry, no offense, but like with the CW TV shows, it's like, okay, who are you going to bang? Which teammate am I going to bang next? It's like the Gossip Girl of the CW shows. Well, okay, not all of them work. Okay, Arrow was not bad in the first season or second season. No, no, but eventually, eventually, he might be anymore. Well, no, the writers didn't know what to do with it. Yeah. He so may have signed it. I don't know if he did that. You can't really stream on a story in the same place. You're liking this right now? Yeah, like, this is at least a blog. This is kind of a breath of fresh air in comparison to Batman v Superman. Weather manipulator. Oh, there you go. I don't know what drugs. Oh, yeah, that's the film right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Why is that costume so bad? <laughs> the, the 90s costume with, like, the 1990 costume with Wesley, or John Wesley Snipes. Yeah. Because they were watching Bottom Man. Like, why can't we do that? What else do we Why can't we get that kind of costume? Oh, my God. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? It's Weather Wizard. Okay. Him? Honestly? This is, uh, again, a little more. Okay, what is that? Is he like on the outside? Sorry, what is that? This is more like our game. What are you doing here? Yeah. 
Bullets. What? It's okay. What is the villain? Is that Nick Fury? Mark Ballinger? Remember what you said about Alien? I am John Jones. What the fuck? As you can see, we. My, how fat you've got, John Jones. What is with his face? To steal that joke from Nash and Takara. Boy, I wonder how the Martian race died. They got eaten. He looks terrible. First alien. He's like Mr. Incredible. Like, what you, after 15 years of not, you know, of not superior. That is, that is not That's Miguel so Ferrer. Okay. No, it's not Miguel okay. Ferrer. It's uh, David. Whatever his name is. So, again, I know this guy's voice. He's cool. Oh, David Lynch. What are you saying? We want you to join the Justice League. This is absurd. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Is this chess not green? And he's got like his whole like chest here showing that it's all like, you know, human skin? I'm teaching. Just as I taught all of them. Oh my goodness, there you go! What to do when they started? They came upon their gifts just like you did. Could you imagine being a comic fan? Actually, I'm the only other lab. Oh, I can't wait for this weird show to come out. Radioactive deposit. You watch it. About the same time the Green Lantern found his ring. I was going to mention before we were friends here. We're going to see you watch the show. It's going to be great. Right, Johnny, come over here. Dude, you can see his neck. His neck is completely like. His neck is like. Oh, yeah, you can see it on the other side. Oh my Yes, that's what it is. Your friends have already been This is not. This is why. This is why Friends is good. Part of the This is not terrible. Okay, this is not the worst. This is terrible. No, but I'm saying, like in comparison to everything we've had, this is the like the least like worst thing ever made. Okay. No. Honestly, like this is this is. Look at it! Oh my goodness! Like he is. This is worth it. Some worse than Batman Robin. Yeah, he has no Probably her father. Yeah, no, no, this is on par. This is on par with yeah, Batman and Robin. I mean, also, he's very wise. Again, remember, about, this is uh, remember. If you like uh, Batman and Robin, it's yeah, better than uh, Batman v Superman. And Man of Steel. I'm not half falling. We we just we just hate Man of Steel. We hate Man of Steel and Batman v Superman. I don't even hate Man of Steel, but I hate. I can't even sit through that. Let me get a little bit older. That would be sick. Yeah. I'm going to go to sleep. Yeah, right? I was going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. It's the worst. I feel bad because they're both great. Ben Affleck and Henry Cavill. And uh, what's her name? Gal Gadot. There you go. She's really good too. And Jeremy Irons. I wish she wasn't using this. It's such a shame. In the desert for the first time, I was in the desert for three. When I came upon this unbelievable park specimen, I didn't watch it. That was a park. A park in the world, and I read Jurassic Park. Did you see two or three? No, not yet. Again, I have yet to see the last one. Oh, he's there. Lost in the bathroom for a day or two. Oh, so he's good. We're looking at Ray's origins. Shattered everything that I ever did. So that's what happened before the force awakens. My friends, family, not that they understand. Well, well Ray was born uh, by two so humans, humans, I assume, or what? That was right. everything. So yeah. everything. And then she was a good thing. The father came and brought you. Uh, I was scared out of my mind. Yeah, and then somebody brought her off the track, and then she. Sign of fake showed up and put on a costume. Seventeen-ish years or whatever it was later. Remember why you got into science? Big Frost came and said, "I'm not going to be in this movie." Oh, he's in the next movie. He's in eight. Oh, that'd be funny. Big Frost and Sign of Fake would be there. In all that time, in all those laboratories, I don't think I actually made a difference. Taking it off. Yo, he pulled like a. Batman Ew, what's that sound? So scary. Pulling a Batman Returns. Too dangerous to those characters. Yeah, remember how he like yeah, off? That was always weird to me. Like, he rips off a cowl like crap. Because he kind of tears it apart. Well, like, yeah, it's it's. I'm not saying it's plastic. Yeah. 
I'll tell you what, though. Part of our world that I think attractive. Have some Kim Cattrall is yeah, in trouble with the front side of town. She's really, she's really good looking. Oh, she's alright. Also from DC. Well, born in England. Very good. Green, right? Oh, those are her real eyes. I thought she was wearing uh, no, contacts. No, no, those are real. Oh, those real. Those puppies were real. Oh, jeez. Oh, contracts. Contacts. Contracts. She was contractually obligated. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. I don't know what these people are at least either in their late 20s or 30s. I think it's the 255s. What is this? Oh, Bill, what's up? Oh, man. Throwback, like, throwback Thursday. What was she taping on? Fred. 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 Flashback Friday. Oh, Fred. 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 This is not Inspector Gadget. What are you doing? Oh wow! This is oh my goodness! I thought you said this is good. I thought you said I said this is better than Batman v Superman. Inspector Gadget. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Barry Allen, what you did in The Flash season one and go back in time. You look so terrible. Uh, it looks like a beach. It's a movie. Ew, they're all there. Hello. Oh. Go away. <laughs> Why is she naked? That's great. You don't know. Just kind of oh, okay. okay, we haven't, we have not seen if she's a nudist at all, okay? Well, she might have been. It's not really cool with this cutting when she's like, what do you guys do? Uh, and by the way, why couldn't you bring that to the back? Yeah, well, that's kind of cool. Mark's manager is green. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Do you know that, like, apparently green is a great for the green? Really? I didn't. I thought that as a kid, and then I thought it was not true, and then apparently it is. I don't believe that at all because it's my degree like it's substance. And yeah, I don't think they do that. Touch that. Very nice shot. It's almost like Caleb's from Soul Out. Yeah, sure. Hey, welcome to the club. Oh my! <laughs> oh, that's actually. I think that's close to what her comic book kind of front looks like. They look ridiculous. Why do they have her in the front? They look ridiculous. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Yeah, that was trash. That was that was trash. Did you uh, 